tu roca. Mike is hot. Si tiempo te lo moquita haciendo. You don't even know what you're saying. You know what you sound like. Si como un perro donda. Like a priest. Like a priest. Like a priest. Like a priest like in Rome, you know? This nigga crazy. Yes, he got on the end of the ugly. Do any of y'all know what the fuck he's saying? No. Racist bitch. What if I just went like too ugly? <laughs> oh, 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 that's really crazy because I'm not like I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> too ugly. That's deep. Too madre. What's going on with the chat, man? Make sure y'all like this motherfucking video right now. La troca. <laughs> we in here, man. Me, Duno, uh, you know, this little nigga over here. Oh. <laughs> hey, we got a cut, though. That's why I got my hat off, you know what I'm saying? We got big budgets going on in yeah. the back. We got big barbers showing up. You know what I mean? Shout out to Rue. <laughs> you know what I mean? Rue can't do. Yeah, pun. What is the higher going, upset? Yeah. I'm tired of all this extra yeah. shit. Yeah. Get the chili. You know what I mean? I see the chilies in the chat. I see y'all. Before the chat go off, I see y'all, y'all going crazy, man. We got the big budget and you feel me? Yeah, we finally invested in ourselves. Chili's in the chat, so I feel like we should go to Chili's. I've never been. You've never been to Chili's? I've never been to Chili's. I'm uh, like more of an Applebee's guy. That queso. Is Chili's killing Applebee's? Nah. <laughs> Is Chili's killing Applebee's? Yeah. No. I feel like they're both high and low budget at the same time. Um, fair to say, fair to say, huh? You, bitch, you don't know where you be going. Applebee's and Chili's the same and shit. And what you be doing? You just went to Norm. You was at Norm. Don't worry about busy. You I was, was at Norm. You was so at Norm. Yeah, I never been there, and I went. So what? What'd what you get? Norm's. What'd you get? I went in the morning time. <laughs> that nigga got a breakfast burrito. Oh God! That and shit Norm's? was fire too, yeah. I haven't been to Norm's in no month. You know what? 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 The one in Hollywood got me sick a long time ago. I got the country fried steak shit. And that shit got That's me sick. That's the one I love. That shit got me sick. The one in Hollywood. It's, it's the one on... Uh, the country, like country, country fried steak. Is it on La Cienega? It's, it's on La Cienega. Is it La Cienega? It's on La Cienega. It's by the Beverly Center? Yep, yep, yep. It's by the Beverly Center. That shit that got me sick. Fire. Man, I'm about to uh, order that. I'm going to see what that's talking about. That's that's it. It. it was two it people was good. there it working. Was... Man, that shit was like 2 a.m. We was in there munching deep as fuck. It was one nigga. He was cleaning up and cooking. Oh, he cold. I said, oh, that nigga, he deserve a big tip. <laughs> he, he wasn't getting it. I didn't give him that The homie got 10 bad from Norms. <laughs> what? Yeah, because they fired one of the, like, the girls, like, sued for the shit. Mm. And they was all part of it. I still get a 10-cent check every other, like, month from Polo Loco when somebody got injured when I was there. 10-cent check. 10-cent check. The least they's giving you your chili. Ten cents, bitch. Yeah, you can buy some penny candies. Damn, you know what? Recently I had some penny candies. They were good. That shit was fire, huh? That shit was fire. That's fire. I, I, I think I seen the penny candies at the 99 cent store. I said, damn. That's wild. This is crazy. I never, were you guys I never super knew they were Tootsie Rolls. I never knew they were Food for Leather or North Gay Babies? Huh? For, were you guys El Super Babies, Food for Leather or North Gay Babies? Uh, food for less. Food for okay. I was a food for less baby too. Food for less. Yeah, for sure. I Ralph, feel like I feel like I feel Ralph. like Ralph's. Ralph's. Yeah, what Ralph's Ralph's were you Vernon. going to? Oh, Ralph's on Vernon. Oh, oh Ralph's on Vernon. There no more. We had a Ralph's when we was growing up on Vernon. For real? It was too high for us to even be even entering that nah, motherfucker. We My mom used to go. My in. mama did not Your enter mom that went, Ralph's you didn't on go Vernon. Bitch. I went with her a few times. I used to, used to be a Ralph's on Vernon. I don't know. Y'all had big food stamps going. No, uh, my sister Christina Tiny. And them <laughs> Bullshit. Melvin, Everybody had, had food job. stamps. He was driving limos and shit. Nah, nigga. No, Ralph was on Vernon and uh, Fig. You was crazy. Vermont and Slauson. That, oh, it was on no, Vermont. No, no, no. They put Ver, Ralph's, Vermont and Slauson? No, it was on Vernon and Fig. It was on Vernon and Fig. Yeah. Right Vermont and Slauson was the poor local that now, right? Yeah, in the parking in lot. In the parking lot, right across the in street. In the parking lot. It's, it's a, what's right there now? I, would, I didn't even go to that laundromat. It was a yeah, laundromat it's right there. laundromat right there. It's still a laundromat. I've never been in that laundromat either. It's I hate laundromats, laundromats, bro. I fucking hate them with a passion. Why? They just give me, I just fucking don't like them at all. Nigga, when we used to go to the laundry mat, we used to be in that motherfucker eight hours. So I felt like <laughs> we used to skate through that motherfucker on our skate. 
50 seconds, go through the little thing. <laughs> hey, black, get up out of here. We just have fun. That's I don't crazy. Know why like, we had so many dirty clothes, homie? Nigga watched every once a month. It was the most. It was the most embarrassing shit your mom used to make you do. That now you're like, it wasn't that bad. You were just a kid and shit. Well, the most embarrassing thing when I thought when I was a kid, when she used to send me with the food stamps. Oh, without the book. Oh, niggas used to be. <laughs> oh, y'all old like a motherfucker <laughs> with the book is crazy. The book is wild. Okay, so the brown was so, five, so, I'm, the green was ten. I'm trying to understand the book shit. So explain it. Can you explain it to me? It's like a little flat book like this. You peel it open. It got five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, forty. But it's you ever had lunch tickets? Cover. You ever had lunch yeah, tickets? Yeah, yeah, five lunch tickets. In, so in it, had, it was a book like that, but it was smaller, and it had the dollars in there, yeah. the fives, the tens, and shit. And I used to be like, "Damn, this is." I'm finna go with food stamps and niggas used to be it was at embarrassing back then. They talk about you to see you at school. The kids, yeah, they talk about you. Like, so, oh, you got food, food stamps. stamps. <laughs> <laughs> so can somebody? So can so like, let's say you're walking with the book. Can somebody just come and snatch yeah, him and yeah, run you away? Can spend that shit. You can spend oh God, it. you can spend it. <laughs> All you gotta do is have a book with you. Like, oh, buns here too, you guys. <laughs> But look, the cool part about the book is like, it don't, it don't have the name on it. So like, when we was kids, your mama didn't have to use the senior with the book. She just give you the 20, the 50, whatever, and you go pay for it. That's so good. Does it, were people able to scan them? Like maybe print like another version out or negative? I, I don't know. know. That. No, I, no, 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 I was I embarrassed was to go to the store with them damn oh, food stamps. Man, I, I, if I went through a lot of things, one it was me being the only boy. And when my sister was on their period, they used to send my ass to go get pads for them. That shit used to be the worst, too. My mom used to have us on the dash with the, with our food for less. Like, with the food for less, just in the dash, deep as fuck, running into people, hitting people. Imagine that shit used to be whack, because all my homies, their parents had cars. My Man. mom barely knew how to drive to either. Bro, we used to be in the dash like this. Going to get tampons is crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had to get those tampons? Yeah, no. tampons oh, I said, you ain't got no kids yet. No, no, no. Girl, for your girl. For your girl. Back then when I was a kid. I thought you were talking about like, for your mama. Yeah. For my mama, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I never had to go through that. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But I had to do it. I had to do it for my sisters. They was like, they were like, them. I'm, I'm telling you, my mom was like, they're girls. It's late. They can't be walking. You got to go. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, it's not mine. My shit not bleeding. They didn't even have tampons. <laughs> they, your shit bleed. Hold on, but they didn't even have yeah. tampons back then. I don't think they, they just had, had pads. With the pads, pads. Some big ass pads. Damn, Damn. <laughs> you was playing with the motherfuckers. Yeah, like the, uh, yeah. <laughs> they came in like the baby blue bag yeah. or pink bag uh, and shit. Yeah, hey, I ain't gonna yeah. lie. One time in high school, one of the homegirls had her had her bag. You know, there was. Uh, since six, you remember the bags? That used to just be like one big ass thing. It was like kind of like a duffel bag. The homegirl had a pad. We took that motherfucker out. All the homies caught a tag on it. We put that shit right in the, in the middle of the hallway. Boom. <laughs> a used I mean, one? No. Oh, I was like, that. A used one? If she, if she was walking around with a used pad in her backpack, that bitch was nasty. No, that shit was, it was, that shit was the dove version, the dove version. We just opened that bitch up. We caught, all the homies caught a tag from different crews, different niggas. We just put that motherfucker up. I remember the first time I seen blood on that motherfucker. I was like, Ugh. I was like, oh, this is the nastiest shit on earth. I'm like, what happened? What's this? I asked my mom. She like. Yeah, you, you, we bleed every month. I'm like, you bleeding for what? <laughs> like, I had to. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's dead eggs. Start going. It's the question start mural when I once I asked her what she was bleeding for and all the whole little shit. You, you got to kind of tell me and shit like that. But, uh, yeah, I would crazy. say that I would say the nastiest thing in the bathroom, girl. The dish. When I oh, no, the, that was crazy. Oh, and they kept that bitch right there on the top. They kept that bitch right there on the on the, in the bathroom. Yeah. I'm like, the corner of the bathroom. Look, what is you doing? You feel me? <laughs> but no, nigga, if you go over a nigga house and they shower curtain dirty, cuz. That's oh. crazy. No, 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 no. Hey, you know what's the craziest shit? You know what's the craziest shit when 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 they tub dirty? Oh, no, I ain't going over a nigga huh? house tub. Dirty. Like, like, a, nah, ring, nah. a ring around the tub? Yeah, like, like, like the ring around the tub. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, and you kinda... always had the ring around the tub? Man, I, man, one time I really had to shower. I, man, I shower with my, with my socks on. I was like, bro, can I have some? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> what's your socks, bro? He's like, oh. Oh, what the fuck? Shower with your socks on, that's crazy. Oh. He on the yard with it. And the jet and the sail got like, Hey, y'all ever ate, y'all ever ate tamales out of a bathtub? What? 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 Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Man, what, what type of Latinos was you hanging out with, bitch? 
<laughs> my good peoples. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, say it again. <laughs> yep. Well, I tell they used to step on it. They making a big, they had the big ass pots in the backyard. And they used to be like this, stepping on that shit with their pants rolled up. Boop, the mama go in there and step on it. Ooh. That's crazy. And then we put them in the But what is she stepping on? Whatever the shit. The masa? Like, without, she stepping on the masa? I don't know what it was. I was a kid. But she stepped on it. Then. It wasn't the, the ones they, they give you now, them type of tamale shells. It was a different one, like a green one. And then you got to do it like that, flap it, boop, bop. And then oh, no, it. she was stepping on the leaf. And then put it in the thing, put it in the little shit, boop, bop, and fold the little shell up. But then you put that shit in there and it's going crazy. I never seen them. I mean, maybe. I mean, shit, they might be one of modern or some shit. They was Mexican or what? They were like Central one American? Oh, That's yeah. crazy. Hey, look, I went to the homie house and I had to take a shower, homie. And I got in the shower and I seen all the shit on that nigga uh, shower curtain. And I was like, cuz, I got to take a shower, though. But but it's, it's well, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take a shower. And I got in that motherfucker. I did everything I possibly could so that motherfucker wouldn't touch me, right? Oh, my and the, God. And the hot water going, right? So I'm like, cool. It's a little shower. I'm off to the side. I'm, I'm feeling good. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's the hot water. And the hot water made the wind the, the, the wind blow a little bit. And that motherfucker blew. The, the shower curtain, that motherfucker blew. It touched my leg a little bit. I was like, that motherfucker, I'm just taking a shower to touch me. Boy, I was like, oh! <laughs> was your homie like, dirty though? Was your homie dirty? Like, What's wrong? I was yeah. like, nigga. Was your homie dirty? Yeah, was your homie dirty? He wasn't a dirty nigga though, homie, but when I went in his bathroom after that, I'm like, you dirty, cuz. How long ago was that, man? Like, uh, <laughs> no, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't even that. Remember, this nigga's six years older than me. Man, somebody his generation. Man, you, somebody I, his generation. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you though. Hey, shout out my homie JB. Look, uh, uh, JB. That was JB. JB. We was in the apartment though. He was young though. He had an apartment. Well, he was living seven. with his other brother. Yeah, one hundred seventy Vermont. <laughs> and that motherfucker touched me. Though. I was like, oh, <laughs> nigga, that shit was the nastiest shit on earth, nigga. So I JB like, went dirty. I gotta JB replace this bitch. Nah, though. JB was a fly. He was fly. He sure, taught me a whole bunch of shit. You. Feel me? That's but, the chair, bro. Our shit used our fucking shower used to get clogged a lot because of my sister's hairs. Damn. Like, like all their hair. Like yeah, I mean, that shit happened. That I shit mean, happen. there's four girls living there. I should be hot like a mother. Like, what do you mean the water not going down? They like our hair. They gotta do the whole little shit. So what was you used to do? Put a hanger in that motherfucker? I mean, shit. They figured that shit. I used to get me hot. So they down there with the metal hanger. So you be in a shower, y'all should be flooding your feet and shit. Ooh. Like just, a, I mean, just by the little, dirt right back, just by the sink. <laughs> the dirt by my feet is crazy. crazy. But you know, for, for you know, dealing with girls, these the Dang. gang of hair now, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. one thing I don't miss about living with my mom. Even my mom, as she gets older, you know, the hair still falling. Shit, and now my shit just. Everything was smooth in that motherfucker. And I had that problem too, but I I didn't live with a gang of girls. You feel me? But. Even with my mom and shit too, I was like, "Damn, how can we figure this out?" You feel me? But now, as you older, Amazon has everything. Uh, Heather, you feel me? Like her hair, or whatever, to get down there. I'm like, let me see how I can fix this myself because I was calling the plumbers. Them them to come snake is like two hundred, three hundred. I'm hey. like, nigga, I need my own snake. Get your own shit. So I'm get, I hit Amazon, nigga. I'm like, oh, don't worry about nothing. You can buy the snake. So you can buy the snake. You can yeah, buy the yeah. snake. So when I see my shower or something, I know it's hair or something like that. My kids, they when they think it's crazy. I'm like, oh no, hell no. Turn the water. I will leave the water on, and then I'll put the snake down there. Shh, 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 shh. Nigga, the water going down. I'm like, oh, cause I'm a plumber now. This shit is getting crazy. Going Man, crazy. bro, recently at our building, one of the fucking guys. He did something with the plumbing, so whenever we was flushing, that shit was hitting downstairs. What you mean hit downstairs? Like, like cause, cause, cause I live on the second floor. Oh, it was going somewhere. It was here. going downstairs. They they did something with the piping. I don't know what the fuck happened, but our our, our owner cheap. Like, motherfucker, when it comes, like you could be cheap about certain shit, right? Right. The air could like the fucking, but you can't be cheap about no plumbing, fool. They make your mouth the plumbing. Somebody gonna get shit while they showering. So you was taking big shits. No. <laughs> so I'm not here. I mean, going uh, to the name. Oh, so they did where we are. We're in the bay. We're in the bay. And my mom called me like, man, the neighbor said they house flooded and, and the water is But And my mom I was like, I'm not home. Come to find out, everybody from the second floor, whenever we was sitting, it was going down to one whole apartment like the like the water sink. Oh, uh, bro. She came upstairs tripping. I'm like, bitch, I just got here from... 
Wait, San Francisco, yo, I haven't been here. Yo, shit was going to somebody's sink? Yeah, because of the oh. because, of, because of the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> bro, and then, and, then, and then, bro, I have a group chat with all my neighbors. Yeah. We got a group chat. Everybody in there talking shit. But everybody on the second floor not replying. Everybody on the first floor like, what the fuck is going on? Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That is crazy. Who but... Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Don't worry about nothing, y'all. Today is a good day, great day. And yes, today is our 50th episode. Yes, sir. Episode 50. Woo! We probably be at 100 episodes, but we only do this once a week. You know what I mean? It would. And, you know, right. we do this once a week, and, you know, we Damn, just be chilling. Damn, this is our 50th? 50th Thank episode. You. Our 50th episode is probably like our 100th episode. Man, this week we just hit 130 for Brown Bag. Damn, that's good. Going crazy. I mean, it would have been more if I didn't need power, but yeah, 130. <laughs> <laughs> it probably would have been like 150. <laughs> yeah, probably. Because ah, ah. I'm at 152. You're, you're at 150 for a bag on V? 152. Yeah. Oh, but you all do it twice. So, and you uh, do it once. Well, yeah, we do it once. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Damn. You said it would have been 150 if what? If, if, if I didn't leave power. Oh, okay. Oh, so they be, doing, they be doing some up there that don't uh, that count towards that? No, 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 no. But what I'm saying is we had like a little fall off. So we didn't do brown bag for like two months. Oh, the actual pod, the actual pod. How right, many right. people from brown bag now? It's it's we're we're kind of moving them back to like our little like just me let the event. We kind of missed like the our old setup. It was just us three, which is what really people love. So we we like we tried the new shit. I mean, it works, but we kind of missed just our commodity. So so what's the new shit? Because I'm out the loop. How many people was on the new shit? So it, it, so it, so not we we have a a subject called um Sombra Sala, which essentially like. The shade room, and we'll talk about like celebrity, like like for Latino celebrities and stuff like that. But we would start it off in the beginning, but back then we started, we used to do it in the end. But now we're gonna switch it kind of a little more back towards like the end, just so me, Latin, and Vic could shoot our shit and do what we were, what, what right essentially right. got the brown back booming, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. All right. But yeah. Mm, that's tight. That's, that's tight. That's tight. Yeah, yeah. 50th episode, man. We here. You feel me? We 50th episode. It. Oh, and it's me, the, mine's the pun's birthday. This motherfucking week. Yeah. Why the fuck did we get a cake in this Damn, motherfucking day? we have a birthday day. celebration today. That's crazy. Uh, hey, y'all uh, fucked up, bro. Uh, yeah, y'all be crazy. big ass divas if we don't say. If, wow. You know, you hey, they, y'all, you, AD, Smack are the biggest divas wow. on y'all birthday. Me and Pun be the coolest motherfuckers. And we, and we don't get a fucking cake on our birthday? Well, usually Heather probably would have did that shit, but she's sick. Oh, so she's sick. So yeah, I mean, you know, hey, hey, I ain't in charge. That's the only thing I don't do. I don't do the cake and the, all the balloons. I don't do that one. So pun, she, I say, she would have had it going for. I you say me and Pun get uh, a thousand each off the business card. Where is the love? <laughs> <laughs> Go do it up, man. It's y'all birthday, man. Go oh, Pun, you heard it, Pun. You heard it, Pun. Go do it up, Pun. Yeah, say so, less. Say less. Give me a card. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to do it up, bitch. Yeah. That's what we not giving. No, no, why can't you get one? Why can't you get one? Terrell, why can't you get one? Terrell? Bitch, because it's going to say. You got one. No, where is it? I ain't seen it. Nah, hell no. I don't we, even got one. Hey, bro, you we not giving them, bro. That shit don't work. They cut my shit off. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, bro, that shit going to say. They motherfucker use that shit. 30 times at Costco for the, for the for the bikers club. I swear to God, only, I swear to God, only AD shit works. So y'all wouldn't trust me if I had mine? Hell no. I would. You full of shit. That nigga says gonna say Costco 30 times. Hey, 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 you full of shit because you have a back on big one? I don't even, it's no back on fit cards, no bank account. That nigga said nigga out 30 times at Costco. Y'all funny as hell. Hey, D, your car work? Oh, it's my turn, cuz. Mine's the only car that Hey, hey, he's the only one to call that one. Use a car. I only want that book every day. I don't even touch the shit. Hey, look, don't touch it, cause that's when it get confusing. <laughs> Let AD do it so we can blame him. We blaming AD ass for hey, everything. Hey, as soon hey. as some shit go wrong, it's AD. Hey man, if y'all wonder why they keep switching out, it's cause they get it. Should we big budget now, so we're getting haircuts in the cut. Uh, yeah, and, they, and, and shit we, like we that. came late, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's Pun's birthday. I think his girl did something for him earlier today. It's gonna be my boy Duno's birthday. And uh yeah, we could probably go go out to eat for my boy Pun and then shoot over to my boy uh Duno shit, you know, and do some real Hispanic shit. What are we doing on Sunday? I feel like we should do something on Sunday too. We're going up all weekend, right? My birthday party Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we had the punch pun, on Sunday. Pun birthday party Sunday. Okay, yeah. Well, that's where I'm going to be at. Pun, pun dinner. I just lock in pun dinner. It's going to be super fly. Well, brother, I'm not going to be there, but I'll be yeah, there. You Sunday. got your own thing. I'm there. And then we come to your shit. The movie. Pun birthday dinner about to be super fly. They're going to be like, them niggas getting chilly. 
Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby. For sure, for sure. Stupid chili. Stupid chili. <laughs> okay, so then we, we coming have... to your party. Yeah, facts. <laughs> then Pun having his party, and then his big chief party after that. The same night? Sunday, yeah. It's, 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 it's one Damn, of I'm, I'm, hey, any, um, shit, my people from IMED, I'm gonna need some IVs on Sunday so I, I can like, recover. I'll, I'll do that with you. I like getting IVs. Let's do it. We, I feel like we should all do it. Let's, so we, IVs. So we, Let's so we, vlog it. So we could be hydrated. Let's vlog for it and Sunday, shit. Let's have a conversation shit. The bitch. You know what? No, I ain't talking about getting the fluids in you, mother. This nigga know what an IV is. He had that shit for like six months every day. You better know. He knows what the fuck an IV is. He's traumatized. That's good. I hate that. I ain't doing it literally. That's good. That's good. That's good. I know, like, at Pump Birthday, y'all gonna get loaded. But when y'all come to my shit, it's gonna be like, obviously, you guys... Like, it's, it's, it's predominantly going to be a Latino party, and my homies know. I'm a like, my, No, but listen, y'all my boys, and in the Mexican culture, we're just going to be like, bottles, give it all to them. The group of finna start cracking. The, the bucan, grupo. The, what's it? The Bucanas. The Bucanas. We the finna grupos, be doing, Bucanas. It's finna go stupid. Si, pero. Oh, finna get fucked up. I'm a mama. Just, what? what? It's going to be a movie. Is your mom going? Come on, yes. come on, come on, come on, Whoa. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bro, what is wrong? <laughs> For my homies speak English, bitch. I know, so I can speak Spanish? Can you teach me Spanish? Payaso. Payaso. Does they these favorite words? Respecto, respecto. No Res respecto, chinga tu mala way. Ooh. Puto. Madre, madre, madre. Puto. Madre. Madre. Tortuga. <laughs> Tortuga. <laughs> right away in a troca. <laughs> that shit gonna be lit, though. Hey, but it's 2000s theme. Y'all gonna be super flying for punch shit. Y'all gonna be 2000s the... theme? Yeah, bro, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm not dressed. dressing up for your weak ass party, nigga. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> We coming out as is. What did we do for your birthday? <laughs> nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> yes, we did. He what did we do? He had the skate party. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we did. That nigga busted his head. You remember that? Oh, I, oh his chin. His chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. that's going to be lit. So this whole fine. weekend, be ready for vlogs. All the you birthdays got... been booming. Damn. Troca. Damn, what the f Damn, lucky with the FMW card. I might get the group for another two hours. I'm going to just do it up one time. Grupo. <laughs> <Smack>. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm sharper than the rest. I'm, I'm going to get Smack a card. That's, I'm just That's crazy. Why Smack ain't got no card? He was in the hospital. You, nigga, you, ask yourself why Smack ain't got no card. We all went to the bank together. You did? Yeah, we did. They it's ran out of cars. They ran out of cars. Oh, the we got a uh, They ran out of cars. <laughs> they ran out of cars, bitch. No, so we, we gotta, need to go to the bank and give me a car. We got to get the new. We got to get the new higher up a car too. Who? Can you make it no? That <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't. We got to get the new higher up a car. When we did this, <laughs> the fuck is you talking Bro, about? Bro, we promoted Keem. He's a new you higher up. Can't promote him without me being here. I got to say, doing this shit too. Ain't that about a bitch? Y'all niggas getting behind y'all yeah. hey, Wait, y'all getting behind. I ain't got it's a car. It's a vote. It's a vote. And I ain't in the vote, so the vote don't count if I ain't there. <laughs> the fuck? Hey, hey, y'all got, got a car coming, bro. Help me. Bro, you now was in the hospital, bro. Okay, you should have brought me my car. No. I was here. I was here in the no, jail. No, no, you no, that ass bitch, it got shipped to our houses. Man. We didn't know your address. Hey, truth to the details, knows. we real dedicated now to homie getting the car, bro. He can spin that wheel, man. What? He can oh, smell that shit. Oh, my dead body, what? nigga. Oh, man, I ain't got no motherfucker. Hey, see, you want them to clip this up. I need a car. So who we going to go get my car, man? Where are we going to get my car? Oh, I need to get, get my car. Hey, 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 but, hey, but you know what? It's crazy that AD is the only one that's car. He has a car that's activated for some reason. Don't, for the rest of us, just have it online. Hey, but you got to keep it. No, you got it. You got that shit, too. Online. Oh, I'll give you a second. Yeah, I ain't got it online our car, so you don't have to do shit. Fuck. Man, y'all don't let this nigga troll y'all, man. He ain't trolling. The truth is the truth. Man, if Smack got a car, y'all don't let Smack charge. Give it to me. Let me see it. Give it to me. Let me make sure. I got to get two now. Here, look, look, look. Just take mine. No, bitch. Give me the car. No, take mine. Look. Hell no. Why? So y'all don't want to say it. So y'all don't trust me. You know how I'm going to say you. I trust you. No, y'all don't, because if y'all trust me, y'all don't give me a car. Here, bitch. Hey, what about it? I know what's going on. I see. I see. I see. I know what's going on. I see. Hey, motherfuckers think I'm crazy. I see. Y'all don't trust me. I'm going to get two cards. One for you, one for Keem. What? See, all right, Costco <laughs> car. See, I'm telling you, all right, punt. I'm gay. Hey, you know what? <laughs> don't even worry about it. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna win. Hey, don't let that nigga show no y'all, dog. It's like no kind of having the card is lit. Like, I man, know. I hit him. I was like, hey, bro, we finna film today. Don't worry about nothing. You feel me? I mean, to be to be fair, we only we only covering like 
expenses and stuff. Yeah, we don't you go spend it on we don't, we don't go like buy it on whatever. Okay, I want to be covered on expenses and stuff too. So you go, okay, look, I'll tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you Why this. Why you laughing, pun? Like Sm- it's a, see, you got me fucked up, bro. For real, nigga. So y'all think I'm not worthy enough to have a No, you're hard. not listening. Smacky, come up with a show idea. We gonna all fund it as higher ups. I got a show idea. Okay, <laughs> get, t- okay, tell us, tell us right now. You don't want the people to know that somebody steal my shit and now they okay, start, okay, I'm with they that, did I'm that, that before okay. with me already. I'm sharpening shit. a razor. They did yeah. that before. Okay, yeah. so what we gonna do is <laughs> yeah. let us know what you need. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna have your card. Okay. You can, you know what I'm saying? You can get the expenses and do all that. We or, 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 because like, we getting to the chilliest in there. That's all I'm saying. Man, that nigga motherfucking lies. So as soon as you come up with the idea, this nigga got to do it for you because he his shit. You don't think work. I ain't gonna do it for Smack? We really ain't got no car. He got it. No, you think I ain't gonna do it for Smack? That ass. He's the only one with the card. He got it, dog. He got the chili. I got you. That's why. That's why. That's why we starving this boom, man. These niggas taking flights because this nigga. (laughs) We staying at the W. He (laughs) off the the Westin. We got first class flights. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> look at Smack. Hey, look. His business expenses. They went to the bay, all the shit. Like, I see. It's starting to make sense to me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hey, starting to make sense. Smack, we, 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 the next but one. Smack, we, we working. We traveled one time. Uh-huh. But Smack, we working. We working now. So I need. Let me so, what okay, so what do you need? What do you need? Some Chick fil A. You want some Chick fil A right now? No, 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 let's negotiate right now. What you need, Smacky? I don't know what I need right now. No, I need the car. So when I find out what I need, I can text you, hey, y'all, I need this. Is it good? Can I, you know what I mean? And then we gonna come to a conclusion. That's what we do. We all holler at each other. We be like, look, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. That's all I'm saying. Put me in the loop. I'm in the text messages now. I'm in the group Like, you text. see all these cameras and all that? Yeah. The car. That's us. Car. You, you own think this I don't know? You own this shit. I know. You own them likes, man. I know. You own them crushes, man. <laughs> you bought all this shit. Hey, that's hilarious. <laughs> hey, it, it is funny because look, we, we be right there and they be like, they be like, I'm on dig up. I'm like, yeah, this guy right here. Hey, yep. they just be with the car like this. <laughs> Hey, nigga, get up to some shit and be like, all right, but he paying. <laughs> Everybody be like, it. nigga, be like, this nigga freeloaded. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody be looking at a nigga crazy like, this nigga, he got it. Like, hey, that's the thing, too. Go, go to dinner. <laughs> when we went to dinner, we was in New York. <laughs> nigga, everybody put it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, 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 are like, you hey, sure? Hey, <laughs> hey, nigga, be like this. Look, <laughs> yeah, that's how I got it. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 you know what's funny? You know what's funny? That exact same shit happens that day, go, has some little bitches right there, and I was hey, AAD company card. They yeah. was like, Oh my god, I was like, Yeah, yeah, you know. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, but he's the only one that got it. And then I just grabbed that motherfucker to do it. No, they're like, Who is him? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they be looking at the nigga like, They got say hey, that's hey, what's hilarious. Hey, that is true though, New York. They were like, The check came, everybody just looked at AD. Real nigga, cool. everybody looked at AD, nigga. They looked at the D as AD. You sure? Like, because these niggas, I can get these niggas up out of here right now, split the checks. <laughs> Cause you know they ask you that now. Is yeah. everybody want to split everybody yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Or all at one? Oh, yeah, they just got a David Buster. We like, uh, ain't no all at one niggas. <laughs> this no, nigga. look, look. You know, you know who do it cold though? It's motherfucker Olive Garden. When you sit in that Olive Garden, they got this shit. You can press the button. Yeah. Oh yeah, and yeah, split yeah. that motherfucker. Man, that's I'm crazy. like, damn, that's cold. Right Shout out there. to Olive Garden for niggas that still go to Olive Garden. Yeah, I'm niggas. Yes, me too. Love, me and Lexi love going to Olive Garden. That's super tight. salads and some wine. That super salad is gas. The super. Do know? I've been mm. there a couple of times. Got it once or twice. I seen you was at Casa Lena. Mm. Setting up another party. Yes. You know that, did that, you set up Casa Lena? Fucking what the guy? Did you say that like, damn, you are my spot type shit? Who me? Yeah. No, I was like, he enjoying himself. It's, it's, nice. it's nice. But you know, I, I, I went there for cut. something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That, that pasta, you know what to go back for. That sweet corn. Hey, hey, hey! If what I that, that fucking, vodka pasta. Fire. No, the sweet corn one is the one. It is in the vodka, though. Vodka too. one good, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah somebody don't try to live to a keen one. Quit saying. Like, if y'all, let me just say this without laughing, joking. Let me put a serious look on my face right now. And I'm being straight a honey right now. If you niggas say Keem's allegedly, and there's no shots at Keem, he's a higher <laughs> up. He's a higher up, and he get a car right when he come in. Right. I'm leaving y'all. No, y'all, no, you're not. I'm leaving you. You can't go nowhere. Because that's not right for a nigga that ain't went in the gym, a nigga that been here since day one. one. Okay, okay. Doing this. Okay, let me be fair. Let me talk. Let me talk. All of a sudden, Keith could come in and get a piece of my pie that I worked hard for and think he could go and jump in the bank account and get what he want when he ain't put a sweat and tear or drop or nothing into this shit. You lying to me? Wait, why, why, he going, why would he go in the bank account? 
Because you're giving him a car. Why are you giving him a car to the bank account? It's just for business expenses. He ain't got no business over here. What's <laughs> 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 going on? Y'all are doing too much. Y'all letting this YouTube get to your head, man. I tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Look, look. To be fair, to be fair, <laughs> hear me out. He got a show coming out with Pun and T Rail. That's on some hoes. They ain't got nothing to do with our the bank set, account. The set, the set. They ain't got nothing to do with our bank account. They got a no. Listen, it does because it's coming. It's going under this channel. It's going under which channel? The Community World. All right, that's a new credit card they gotta get once they start. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's, it's a new business. business. No, no, no. We gonna go get a whole new credit card that say zero dollars, <laughs> and they gotta build it up like these motherfuckers. <laughs> We have to see okay. every day you right. don't get paid. Get that shit rack up, rack up, rack up. Now, sir, you think you can just... Uh, man, we gonna get to a car. That shit gonna say... Right, look, this is what I'm gonna do. And y'all gotta this is what I'm gonna do for you, like Smack. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take you on the next week starving. We're gonna get you out the W like a player, get you some bottles. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna turn up. You're gonna be... T-Roll, like, we're gonna get you out of here. We're gonna take you to the W. The W. I'm gonna get you a car. Yeah. I'm gonna say, hey, Smack. Go ahead and do what you do, man. I don't want to do nothing at that time. I want to just have a car in case of be an emergency and I'm in traffic in the streets and I'll be like, hey, something's going on, I need to use a car. No, see, oh, that's no, the problem. No. This is why. Oh, no. no. That's not what the car is for. What's the oh, car for? No. Business, business expenses. expenses. Oh, okay. I'm going to use it for the business. Thing. No. You in, <laughs> I, I'm at, you I'm in traffic <laughs> and you get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nick, why are you calling us? Call 911, bitch. Wait, why is it 5,000 charges at the bar? The motorcycle bar. I wouldn't do that, man. I wouldn't do that. I, I, do I don't the fuck no, I nigga. Wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But look, I want it for when I want to make a business executive. Uh, 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 how you say it? A decision? Business, a decision. business decision. I can have it. Okay, okay so give me give me an example of a of a good business decision that you think like is when acceptable. I start my shit, on my podcast. Hey, we need to get this, get this, get this. You feel me? Get this. Boop. Pop this. So where you gonna put it? The setup. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in this motherfucker upstairs in six room. Okay, okay. All this shit out there. <laughs> hey, hey, we back upstairs up there where we started at. Yeah. <laughs> Going up to the hot box. Oh, and he's with a dog. She shit out the room. <laughs> hey, no, no, hold smack. on. Let's get back to this. You bought bottles? What do you mean? You went to the club and got the bottles? No, I didn't do that. But, but would, that, would that be a problem? Yeah, because now you using it for your room. I just said, see what I'm saying? Wow, you motherfucking. Y'all crazy. He just went to the club and bought five bucks in. I might be broke out. You can all the fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, bitch, no, bitch. We was networking, building relationships. <laughs> Bro, we go to dinner. We go to dinner. We buy liquor for people and shit like that. Yeah, it's part. that's a business expense. No, yeah. We pay for the food. You know, I'm slow. Should, right? That's slow. That ain't should, no business. We should have picked your ass up with that company car when you was kicking that man off you, man. <laughs> That's what we should have came and got you. We should have used the company car. We said, you said, you know what? He yeah, needs security. Yeah, but you're going to get a company car. You need car. security. I do. I do. You need security. Do. He'll buy, he'll do it too. You let that man get over When you, you want your car? I need to see this. I need, I, I need to see this. I need to see no, this. No, I, 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 I don't, don't do that. Man. No, no, no. Ain't no, 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 <laughs> Shoot it to me, AD. AD. After everything else. AD. No, AD, it's for me. Shoot it. Hey, you got some water? Yeah. Budget. <laughs> 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 nigga, they got nigga in the wine. Big budget. Hold on, no, we ain't got no Thank money. you, Alfred. <laughs> 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 hey, AD. Hey, we you see that nigga, you see that nigga, uh, that nigga smack live. We just see the nigga with a little thing right here in his head. He was looking like this, looking at that nigga. I told you don't come over here, nigga. So did you kick him with the good foot? I don't know what you're talking about, no comment. Okay, that's right, my, my boy. My lawyer said I can't speak on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. did, you, did you get that on the, on the car? I don't know what you're talking about. My lawyer said I can't speak on that. Whoa. Woo! Hey, these just be shitting on us, man. You hit again? Yeah. So I need your pick. So you don't. So you don't want to play? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna download it. So you don't want to play? Yeah, I do. But it's like they asked me for some other shit. I think I did download that shit. They asked no, me for what? We have to give you some promo money. What's the name of that shit? Prize <laughs> pick. Yeah, use code FMW, man. Yeah, FMW it. twenty. Shout out to Prize Picks. Hit the link in the chat and use code FMW and get a hundred percent deposit match for up to one hundred dollars for those first first Movie. time depositors. Chat, let us know what your picks is. You got use code FMW and get a hundred percent deposit match for up to one hundred dollars. 
Ooh. Why are you gonna just hit me and get the picks? Because I'm first yeah. time deposit every day. Show me the back end. He up, y'all. For fries, first time, I hit every up. day. Yeah, get the to chili rail up. He ain't gave me a dime of that shit. All right, I want to know about this. Wait, 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 wait. To be fair, why would he give you a dime? Because of his he, he do. We doing together, bitch. The prize picks. You can't too, bitch. So when you put a bet in. Also, back on fig uh, prize picks. Yeah, yeah, everything. Why should say to real Meeks on here? Man, you know what? This nigga crazy. See, that's why I gotta go ahead. I'm finna go ahead. No, he finna, no, the first, the first no. thing he said. So you involved in the um, pun T Real Team show? Nah, that's them. the they, new they, higher they, up nah, show. They can have that. That's them. Do your thing. So, Smack gonna have all his own shit. You feel me? Telling you know better living. You know what I mean? No, yeah, that one gonna be good. Betterliving.com. Keep your mouth shut. They've been stealing shit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm telling you. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna keep my mouth. We got a lot of new shows coming to the channel. But uh, you know what? And Pun just just shot some legendary shit. Facts, Pun facts, just did some legendary shit that's gonna go on the Fig Community World channel. So don't even worry about nothing. Movie and house phone show. House phone shit is gonna yeah. come. It ain't a podcast. Um, <laughs> and I, but I just want to ask this question because he's he Hispanic. You feel me? You know what I mean? You got your boy. I hear the racism coming out. Ah, shit. Uh, you you got your, you, your boy finna fight, Ryan. You feel me? Your boy finna fight, oh, Ryan. Ryan go see him. You feel me? He finna fight Devin Haney. And he just said some wild shit about the Illuminati. And he was going crazy as fuck. And I felt like he was on a clubhouse and he was saying some wild shit. And he was saying something about the uh, Bohemian Grove <laughs> or some shit. Mm -hmm. Was going crazy in the Illuminati and they made him uh, watch, watch some, some shit. Kids, yeah, and they was going crazy. You know what I mean? Like... But do the Hispanic community really fuck with him like that? Well, who, Orion? Yeah. Mark Garcia. Man, he out here acting like a fucking tweaker. I ain't fucking with him. Fuck him. You know what made me like? I, was I don't like, like I don't like, I don't like motherfuckers that use God for everything. So you yeah. think he high? What's wrong with God? No, no, no. What I'm saying is like you're using that as a, as a publicity stunt. Mm. Like you're always talking about God and God got me and this and this. And then you out there like... Got 30 bitches on stage with you and fucking talking about Illuminati and being smoked out on the gram. That's weird shit. For so you weird. Know. I don't know what the fuck you're on. Think, I think he got CTE, bro. He got some saying that he had to watch. Man, he was okay about a month ago. Bro, you see these football players? Them niggas be just waking up one day. They be just tripping. But do they fuck with him? Not in a level though. like... And, I mean, I would... I would the, way, the way he looks to me, he looks like... Like a soft, like a creído. He feel like he's just a better Latino than other Latinos. If you go to a Shit. fight, it might it might be a lot of Mexican American, but like real Mexican boxing fans, like Pitbull Cruz, bro. All of us, we like fuck Roly right now. Roly, well, fuck Roly, cause he fighting Cruz. He fighting a dog. He fighting a man that really do this shit for his family, love his wife, came from nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's to us, I like the real Mexican struggle. Like he a real. You feel me? He's a warrior, dog. Ryan, ah, uh, we don't really do. Oh, so Ryan act white. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. I've never liked those type of Hispanic motherfuckers. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like Ryan, Ryan I, I think Ryan fucks with more white creators than he's ever fucked with any Latino creator. Yeah. I'm not saying he's not proud to be Latino or, I mean, Mexican-American, but. Didn't he do something with Lucky? Yeah, but what I'm saying is, but see, that's like the whole Golden Boys connection, but what I'm saying is like, you pay attention to all this white shit, like, me as a platform, there's a lot of black rappers that are always going to get more and more and more love than, oh, listen, hear me out. You ask me a question. Like, just even me, like, in a position to where I have a big platform, there's always going to be a lot of black artists that, and Latino artists that don't get the same love that black artists get. So when I have a platform, I'm going to go fuck with the ghetto motherfuckers, the motherfuckers that, that look like me, that grew up like me, and that put them in a position. So I feel like when you're in that position, you could do some shit like that. And he probably does, he probably don't care. I'm not saying he... You know what I'm saying? But he just seems like a soft. You don't think he represents his roots correctly? I mean, whatever your roots are, your roots could be, for you could be a, a Mexican from fucking Alabama and be racist. It don't matter, but just be proud of. I just feel like you're just, it's, it's, it's a You don't think he's thing. proud to be Hispanic? I don't think so. I don't know. No, 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 no. He's not. He's probably proud. No, he, but that, but he's that's probably not. proud. He's probably proud, but he don't show no, off. No, he don't show that. Right about these black people that's black. But they act like they white and be all on the oh, how you doing something all that or talking like like John the Majors. Yeah, talking like them. You're not proud. No, 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 no. But we, no, but no, we no. also can't. No, no. We no, also no, can't equate. Listen. No, no, but listen, hear me. No, not no. white. That's, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Being sophisticated, being intelligent, making money, that doesn't make you proud of your initiative. Smack. Your what I'm saying when it when. Yo, yo. You know what I'm saying when you talk, talking like. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, like 
getting money, being successful, being sophisticated when you talk, being like like you're a business person or you eat a certain type of food, that doesn't that doesn't say you're not proud of who you are. I get money. I do I do all the things I want to do, but I also show love. Like I, I think when you show love to your roots, like I still love learning about my culture. Like I still eat like huevos with my mom in the morning while she's getting ready for work. I still I like showing love to my Latino brothers that probably won't get the same look as other other races. And if I'm in a position to do that, I'm gonna show love. I feel like a lot of motherfuckers. I mean, and it happens, bro. Money sometimes is going to get to people's I'm not saying nobody's perfect. He's not perfect. He's probably a really good guy. What I don't respect about him is the whole, like, God this, God that, but then you're doing a whole... Per- and I get it. You're in boxing. That's what you're supposed to do. Talk shit, get into arguments in the middle of the arcade in Vegas. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Right. But when you're using God for all this shit, and then you do this shit, and I think I think he lying like a mother. I'm with Haney. I think you lying, bitch. You're doing all this shit to get out of this fight. Get off it, bitch. Stop being a pussy. Don't don't you think, you think he that scared to get out the fight? I don't think I think I think I think I think he's scared to lose. Cause if he loses, he's done. I don't know, bro. Looking at his face, and to me it seemed like something really wrong with that nigga, bro. Bro, how many times have okay? How many other times have you seen this from somebody? And 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 and, and for not just a when boxer, people be but having, an artist and stuff when like that. people be having CT. Cool, no, no, no. AD, from an artist, anybody that you've seen him do a publicity stunt shit like this. A how publicity many, stunt? Or, or they, how many people have you seen oh, act wait, like wait, this? Wait, wait. No, and then out of nowhere, just come back and like, sorry, I was going through it. Like, and then and they're like, bro. Well, where I, don't are you about, really? I don't know about going back. Because usually when they, there, they stuck there. Yeah. So who have you seen do a publicity stunt? But like even this? the video that I seen of him today when he was talking about like all the uh, stipulations and shit. Oh, well, he didn't seem like he was never okay. Know he probably cut it off because he's been fighting so long and he got his brain fucked up now. He's getting hit in that head. And that's, 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 that's what that's he is. Ryan, Ryan, shit hold on, hear me out. Hear me out. See, this is what I'm saying. Y'all making up excuses. Ryan is one of the best defenders when it comes to protecting himself. He hasn't been hit that much. If we're talking about motherfuckers like, bro, and Ryan hasn't really like, bro, he hasn't really fought any real dogs like that. So he ain't like a Mike Tyson that really big. Mike Tyson really head. got yeah. Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah he like fuck it's, heads it's, up. Let's, let's keep it a buck. It's very rare, and then I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but for boxers to get super duper CTE, I think is a little different than when football players get it. Let's not act like CT CTE kicked in right there. Ryan has won most of his fights. The only loss he ever had was from motherfucking um tank. from Tank, bro. You never, and, and, you and never he got know, hit bro. In the rib. Different, I'm not saying I'm not saying different, different people, bro. Different shit, bro. They can get hit I one just, time think, and change their I shit. Think, I think this is a publicity stunt, and it's it working. Be, we out it here talking be. about it. You look weak. I don't give a fuck about this but fucking who, fight. Um, hey, Pip, I want you to win. Fuck Roly. That's it, where I'm at. Was it Devin Haney's dad? I'm Big Roly. I mean, not Big Roly. Big Crew. Big Roly. <laughs> Big was it Devin Haney's dad that was uh, arguing with, a, with uh, Adrian Broner today? Oh, that was somebody's daddy at the top, and then he was at the bottom, and they were disrespectful. He, he said, my son you. is coming he for you. He said, my son. He says, say it again. He said, fuck I think it was you Devin Haney's dad. Son. He <laughs> said, I don't keep no He, he played with Devin Haney's son. He said, I, he, said Broner, he, was like, he said, my son coming for you. My son's coming for you. Yeah, so so that's my thing. I think it's a publicity stunt. But yeah, if, a lot of people be like, "Oh, bro, you're a girl. You're acting like a high now, fool." Well, the only yeah, the, but the only thing is, I be seeing a lot of Hispanic people not really supporting them like they will support a Oscar De La Hoya or a GGG and stuff like that. Triple so G. I be feeling, I Triple be G not Hispanic. He not Hispanic. Are you fuck Golovkin? Are you he fucking he Hispanic, bro? He's what? Hey, what is it, Golovkin? Yeah. Golov- He's fucking from a small country by Russia, motherfucker. You thought Triple G was Hispanic? I thought he was Hispanic. He's not Hispanic. <laughs> Are you fucking? <laughs> I can see, I can see it. I can. You, you were going based off looks. Yeah, I was going based, based off of looks. You, you racist that. bitches, look at his name. You can look and see like, uh... <laughs> bro, Tyrell, what the fuck? Is Rolly black? Okay, that was a joke. All right. No. <laughs> hey, I is like Rolly that. black? And that was his joke. <laughs> no, I think he, he looked Puerto Rican to me. He might be half, I think. He, he might be mixed. Man, I, man, I can't wait to Cruz knock the fuck out of his ass. All right, so he don't get the same type of love. That's what, that's the only thing I was seeing because he don't get the same type of love. Bro, Canelo too. Safe, you know, from y'all. I'll be like, what the fuck? No, What's Mexicans going on? love Canelo. I'll be like, damn, they he love be, Canelo. But what I, is he? I be, I be I getting that feeling from that nigga though. That's his dad. He, yeah, both his pants look, you know, or, yeah, for sure. Roly is not. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he probably Puerto Rican or some shit. R- Roly is Hispanic. I know, but what type? I want to know what type of Hispanic he's probably he? Dominican, huh? Look at his hair texture. <laughs> like he got an afro. <laughs> oh, he Cuban. Oh, yeah. That's damn near black. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. fair to say. It's like when Jack told me he was half Honduran, I was like, I feel it. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you did. 
But yeah, man, Ryan acted like a weenie. Fuck it, though. So damn, so you going for Haney? For Haney, if they fight, I think Ryan going to pull. And, and, and if no, Ryan Ryan's pulled, not pulling. But he, he Ryan's going, not pulling. Haney was going to win anyway. Oh, I don't know. Dude, I don't know. Because they both do. No, no. See? See, look. And hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. No, no, hear me out. Because we're going to talk boxing. Hear me out. Yeah, Ryan's going to, Ryan might whoop his ass, though. Ryan, Ryan going to whoop his, but, but, but look, if Ryan don't do it, then the second runner up is my boy Arnold Barbosa from El Monte. Real proud Mexican-American from his culture, from his town, San Gabriel Valley. That's why, like, if Ryan Poole, he going in, and that's what I'm going for. If Ryan, Arnold Barbosa. Beat, if Ryan beat him, he got to get the he got to get the rematch with Tank. Man, Tank ain't going to give him no rematch. Everything is on the line Tank, right Tank now, Tank not going to give him no rematch. At all. Bro, it's at everything all. on the line right now, so though, man. Even Canelo stopped fucking with Ryan because he said he thought this shit was a game. He's like, you don't love boxing like we do. Pitbull Cruz, after he fought Tank, and he the only motherfucker that didn't get knocked out, he gave, some would even say that he may even won that fight if we're going based on punches. But that was a good fight. But let's though. be honest, boxing is based on popularity and who's the champion. Let's, unless you knock his ass out. Just like how fucking, when Marquez would have lost that fight against Pacquiao, but what he do? He put his ass to sleep, damn near killed that motherfucker, and that's how he won that fight. I be feeling like a lot of motherfuckers be hating on Ryan because he got a lot of uh, He's notoriety. He got a lot of notoriety off Instagram. And he's doing his thing on Instagram. He he came became popular off Instagram, and he got a lot of brand deals from just doing some bullshit, punching fast, and doing all the whole little shit. So a lot of boxers like, oh, this nigga fake. He doing this, he doing that. But that, I be feeling like you know, motherfuckers just hating on him, and he cool. I think he's he represented his uh his you know where he from where it's well. cool. It's cool. Very well. I think he, I think he represents well. He, said he don't like the God stuff. It's I mean, not, yeah, I, I don't like the fact that that's that's the, that's your way of getting fans. Like, I know a lot of why, why nigga just can't? Why nigga just can't say I believe in God? Like that's no, crazy. but you can't. Like, do you get what I'm saying? It's like this, bro. Like come on, it's, I believe I'm, in I'm gonna God. Tell you like this. What about Ali, dog? What about the Gypsy King? <clears throat> okay, no, but hear me out. Muhammad Ali. No, hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah, okay. But when Muhammad Ali okay. transferred over, did he not fully transfer over? He did. I'm with Allah. I'm doing this. I changed my name. Yeah. I'm not gonna be around women. Only my wife. If you going off, bro. His, his bitch gave birth that same day she announced the giving birth. He broke up with her two hours later on the gram. Ali would have never done that. You get what I'm saying? I get what Do you get what I'm saying? So this is my thing. If we up here like, God this, God that. You better you be world, a Christian word, man. God. You better be a, like, and, and I'm not saying be perfect. Bro, we all, we all say we believe listen, in God and pray we do all that. But we be yeah. fucking up. Hey, D, what I'm trying to tell you, listen to what I'm trying to say. That's your excuse for everything. You you use that as as your as a big step on your career, but you don't follow certain shit. I get what you're saying. That's that's all I'm saying. You're saying but he's I, making that his whole brand, and he's not living. And like then you're that. doing shit like this. Yo, your mom go to church. She believe in God. My she, mom go to church, but my mom not perfect. My mom doesn't go to work. And ain't but go she like, be saying God, God, God. No, she don't. <laughs> Why she don't? Because my mom not you got perfect. The Virgin Mary in your house? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. She's God, God, God. As a comedian, do I, do I follow my whole page? As I believe in God. I believe in the Virgin you. Mary. I love her to death. You going to judge your mom? I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Why are you judging her? All Ryan? I'm saying is it's a publicity stunt at this point. So your mama doing the publicity stunt because she got the Virgin of, Mary in her house? I see her Ryan. My I don't see him talking about God. Are you serious? I'm talking about his antics. <laughs> like him chasing Bobby around and all that. He ain't sitting there saying, God. What I'm... <sighs> Your mama's doing a publicity stunt every time you walk in the house. <laughs> oh, shit. What Whoa. the fuck? Hey, leave my mom out of this bitch. Let me compare my mom to Ryan. That's wild. How ass? I'm just talking about you You believe in God, right? She got Virgin Mary in her we house. I believe in she God. She's not perfect, so you're not judging moms. Dumbass bitch. If you went up on Dumbass back on thing every Monday and Friday and said, God this, God that, God this, and then on Saturday, you out here getting drunk and fucking choking smack out and calling him all types of bitches and fuck your mama and your kids and shit like that, <laughs> bitch. I'm going to look at you like, That's bitch. what they do now. Right. That's what. So do your mother do that? My mom is not perfect. My mom definitely gets drunk. Okay, so people people that you think if their their brand is God, that means they can't sin or if they do certain stuff, you judge them there. He judges everybody for doing that. Because you know the church, so he's a bro, hypocrite. the people that be working in the church be fucking each other, they be stealing, it be all type of shit that so, be going on. So you rather not say you believe in God on camera. So you I'm get not the, saying so you can't so say you, you believe in God. What I'm saying is that's your whole thing. Then let that be your whole thing. 
Don't use that shit when it's when when it when it's beneficial for you. <laughs> Look at this nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah. You got the Virgin yeah. Mary on your back. You didn't call me a hundred bitch. You, you got like Virgin that. Marys on right. your back. Right. What you doing, dude? You don't live like that. I know, Look what you drinking. I know. You don't live like Look that. Look what you drinking. I, I know. Is this wine? God made this shit, bitch. <laughs> the bitties, the bitties. <laughs> yeah. The but, bitties, but, the bitties, the bitties. The, okay, but am I on my story like God? Yep. Bullshit. Oh, so you don't want to do that because you know you're sinning. I don't want to do that because that's not my whole thing. Because you bullshit. Ooh, we got to pray for you. We got to pray for you. Shit. Y'all motherfuckers with the drama all week, bitch. Don't pray for me. I'm happy, bitch. I'm out here golfing, motherfuckers. Bitch, we ain't got no I'm drama. out here golfing. We out here doing it too. We Man, you chilling. farted, huh? Oh, you oh, sick, bitch. Oh, oh, no, you're not joking, bitch. Oh, oh, I knew oh, it. You oh, you just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you ain't getting no card now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, yeah, Kim would have never farted. They, they said don't hold it in, you could die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I ain't die, die. I ain't die, bitch. You lie to me. Hey, bro, you're sick. They really say that shit, though? Oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, nigga stink, bro. Hey, bro, open that. Can you turn on the AC a little bit? Fuck, <laughs> he must. He must have hit him directly. Oh. <laughs> Deal with it, bitch. Higher up. Higher up, Deal with it, bitch. bitch. Higher up. Higher up. <laughs> Let's call Keem. You calling him? Should we call Keem? I thought that's what you're doing right now. Ugh. Bro, this nigga smack, man. He's human. Fuck you, motherfucker. Nah, you nasty, bitch. It ain't nasty, bitch. What I supposed to do? Get up, bitch. I'm finna. Nigga, go to the bathroom. And hope you let up. Yeah, bitch, you yeah. was just in there. Yeah, I have to do it now, bitch. <laughs> The homie is crazy. <laughs> you a dirty bitch. Now, you know I wash my hands, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I gotta open the door back up. How you just open it up when you close it, bitch? With your elbow. Yeah, good shit. <laughs> I'm gonna slap you in the stream over, bitch. I'm gonna slap the shit out of my crush in the stream over, bitch. Don't worry about it, bitch. Keep, it, keep the cameras rolling when it's over with, too, y'all. Put it right towards I'm gonna slap the dog shit out of With the crutches? Yeah, with the crutches. It's gonna be able to reach him. Yeah. Don't worry about it. May the best man win. I'm gonna beat your ass, boy. The homie is crazy. Yeah, we right. this motherfucker. Let's uh let's 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 see. Close ups shows parasites living in uncooked ramen noodles. I seen it. This ain't gonna stop nobody. Man, get this this shit out yeah, of here. Yeah, this is what I don't give a fuck about. Go to the shit though. Go to the Vlad shit. Can we go to the Vlad shit this shit week? Look at this shit. Still eat that bitch. The boiling water kill that shit. You said the, <laughs> the boiling water kill the parasites? Mama. Am I lying? Uh, yeah. That yeah. bitch gonna kill them bitches fast. Sure. Don't even worry about it. Who eating raw noodles like that? DJ Vlad says fuck ain't it raw after to... he cancels his interview out of respect for Charleston White. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's Charleston White boy. That's his boy. Oh, DJ Vlad? Uh, nah. Uh, Aiden Ross is Charleston yeah. White boy. Uh, hey, why did, hey, why did, hey, why did Vlad have to include the fact that he's Jewish? Shout out Aiden Ross, who is Jewish. No, he says so Aiden Ross, not shout out, bitch. There ain't no dash between the S and the O, slow motherfucker. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, Aiden, so Ross, Aiden Ross, who is Jewish, who is Jewish canceled, canceled this live stream with the Boosie official because of his loyalty to Charleston White. This is after Charleston White said he loves what? Hitler. Hitler and the Holocaust, Holocaust was, fake. was fake. Aiden is a lame... Aiden, lame as fuck for this, man. Fuck Aiden Ross. Hey, bro, the fact that Vlad talks like that, like lame as fuck. You imagine Vlad being like... You got a you black like... wife. Damn. Yeah. Does that have anything to do with that? Well, I mean, you imagine him talking like that. Does fucking Heather's mom say lame fucks? She has a black husband. She probably say nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna better hear it. Huh. So he canceled his live stream with Boosie. Out of respect for Charleston White, but then he said that how are you gonna do that when Charleston White be saying he loves Hitler and that the Holocaust was fake I and mean, he's but a Jew it's, and, and I he's mean, Jewish. It's just like people say all the time, how can y'all fuck with him when he say this and he say this and he say that? Like smack talk to him all the time. Mm hmm But this one, I can't get involved though. I fuck with Charleston, I fuck with Boosie, so I ain't got no comment on that. 
I love that. I love that. You feel me? But I mean, I, I feel what Vlad be saying. Vlad, Vlad gonna tell the truth of how it is, though. And I love what Boosie be talking about, man. Boosie gonna go viral, give you like, give it to you how it is. It's sure. the same as Charleston, man. Fuck with it. You know what I mean? Like have him on your platform. I think it'd be good. I mean, but if if Aiden choose to have who he wanna have on his platform, that's that's what it is, man. Who gives a fuck? Same way with Vlad. Why y'all niggas? Why y'all? Why y'all? Why y'all? Why y'all care anyway? Cause. Motherfuckers be trying to disrespect streamers and shit anyway, and, you know, and try to be little streamers. Be like, oh, you're little streaming nigga, or this and that and the other. But now y'all niggas want to be on these platforms, and now y'all getting upset that niggas is uh, not being on these platforms because you know how, what it, what it'll do for your career. So, I mean, if 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 you mad, shit, fuck it. Have him have Boosie on your platform a hundred more times since fucking Aiden won't have him on on on, on your on the platform. So. Oh, so Boosie was gonna go on eight and shit. Yeah, but I'm I'm trying to see what is the beef for Boosie and Charleston. Boosie said Charleston can't come if they're gonna do a stream together. Cause you know Boosie whole oh. thing is I ain't fucking with you. You know they had words between their kids and shit. Boosie and, and okay. Boosie kids and Ti kids got into it with. With Charleston. And then Charleston yeah. probably said he had, he had popped a little nigga. <laughs> oh yeah, King. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He popped both of them. He <laughs> popped Boosie's son too. He like I killed both of them little niggas. That's what he was talking about. Like, you know, Boosie really don't be playing. Boosie, nah. Boosie not playing, but Charleston ain't playing either. But you know, you know he gonna, Charleston gonna say some shit though. Charleston got a body, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't like I don't know if it's respectable. You know what I mean? Like he definitely, uh, he definitely. Uh, shot and killed a young man that tried to steal he his jacket. Didn't do it. The boy that was with him, he gave a gun to. He did it. That stole his jacket. Yeah, they stole the dude, the jacket out. An the innocent dude young man that tried to come stop them. He, and allegedly, he got it blowed his boy and his boy. Boom! But they all went down for it. And they all went down for that. So you think that's respectable? I never said it was. I, okay. I, that's the, I don't know. Damn, is that rain? Yeah, that's, that's the rain. It's raining. The rain. Damn. Damn. You the can't rain, stop it's rain the going rain, on here, man. You can't stop the rain. I mean, shit. Bro, if it's your platform, it's your rules, man. You talking you about all want. that uh, Jewish shit in the Holocaust is fake shit. I just don't. That shit is wild. I don't. We. I've been learning about that shit since I was in school. Like, Bro, Charleston has said the most wild shit of anybody on the internet. <laughs> I'm a soon as, you got in, as soon as you got into school, like, did they, did, was that in your history book? Like, that was. Man, we read Anne Frank. We watched the movie. Yeah, we, like, Anne Frank. we, um,. Bro, I went, to, I went to the Museum of Tolerance before. Yeah. That shit crazy. Oh, bro, I've been there, too. Have you, well, have you been there? Yeah. Well, then we used to vlog that and take smacks that to the Museum of Tolerance. That shit is crazy, well, The Museum of Tolerance. Oh, yeah, I've never been so there. So how they have, museum, um, there's it, another one, too, called the... The, uh, the Japanese-American one. No, I it's, think no the about, mental, it's a mental health one, too. Oh, I've never been to that one. Yeah. I've been to the Museum of Tolerance, which is where it teaches you about the Holocaust. I think it's in Culver City. Yeah. Holy shit. I know, I know, I know when I was in school... I know it's the Central school. City? Yeah, yeah, look. So, yeah, hey, that, hey, we that, should vlog this shit, low key. That was, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, let's crazy, go. Bro. If we go there, it gives you, like, when you first get there, it gives you a story about somebody. And then, look, fucking me and my mom had to do that shit. I went for community service from court, actually. First time getting arrested. I know, the first time me looking at that Holocaust shit when I was young in the history books, and I was just like, damn. How can you do people like that, homie? Like, bro, what type making, of what type of human beings is? They was this? making soap out of people, bro. Lampshades, all type of what? shit, bro. Yeah, they was, nigga. That shit, man, that the shit stories was, you hear about sick, this bro. shit is wild. It was throwing sick. throwing niggas in the shit to burn them up is wild. That's some wild shit. Have you seen, have you seen the boys in the striped pajama? Like, you know, huh? Fuck with the Have you seen the boys in the striped pajamas? Nah. That's a sad Wait, ass I think movie. I, I think I've seen that. Oh, I, I've never seen this. Schiller's List is sad, bro. I seen Schiller's List. And that is the movie's sad fucked up. as fuck, dog. Damn, I've never seen this one. This is similar to the boys. This, this, this is one of the worst. It's worse, nigga. Yeah, bro, it's, it's worse. They don't shit out. You ready, yeah. guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that shit sound crazy. They showed us that in school, mm. nigga. They showed y'all that in school? We had to get uh, parents' signatures to watch that. What do you mean? Oh, like, oh, like, oh, like from like, your parents? In high school, you got to bring it over from this time and come back. It was right there. Oh. Schindler's List. Yeah. Oh shit! Hey, have you ever seen like slavery movies before? Any? Oh, oh, yeah, really? I've seen Django. No, do no. Django's. <laughs> I've seen other slavery movies though. Like, like, have you like? Okay, you ever saw Roots? Yeah. Are one you of did? the first. One of the first. You did not see Roots. I've seen. I call bullshit. 
I never seen bullshit. Roots. I don't think you seen Roots, bro. They showed Roots in high school. You saw Roots in school? No. You think they would show Roots to him in high school? No. He was born in, in our, 2000. In our generation. What's the, what's the, <laughs> hey, what's the, mo- the worst slavery movie you've ever seen? That's fucking, that's a crazy. The worst a lot of movie? slavery movie. Wait, there. Roots is the fucking. Roots Toby, not Roots again. Seen it, yeah. You seen the Dave Chappelle skit? No, I did. <laughs> Roots probably the, the worst one. Where? That, Roots. That, that's it? That's Roots? Roots? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. 12. Roots are Schindler's List. 12 nah, years, see, nah, 12 see, don't years do of slave made me mad, bro. bro. You're comparing two different. Yeah. yeah. That's that's bad. Don't do that, fool. I'm not comparing shit. I'm <laughs> yeah, comparing you the are. movies. No, no. You're Which comparing. one was the saddest? Come on, They were man. both sad, bro. Let's, sad, move, bro. let's move on. Yeah, don't do that. You see, we trying to compare people's struggles to each other. Like, Which one was the saddest? What the fuck? Those are good cinema movies. I'm not talking about the actual history of what's going on. I was just trying to see. Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, that's like <laughs> it's not a trap. We're gonna be one less higher up right here. Talk about it. <laughs> Take his company card. Like Ali. <laughs> he finna go buy the whole collection of roots. It's over with. Fuck that. I seen roots though. Um, no, have you ever seen like a movie that like made you like super super mad? Roots. No, I'm talking Duno. Super super mad. Like yeah, working. like with history. You like damn, that's fucked up. Yeah. With, with history, one of the saddest movies I ever seen was about. Fucking the Salvadorian Civil War. It's called Voces Inocentes. That shit made you me tell, cry. You told us about that. That's a fucking sad ass movie, dog. What well, the Salvadorian people went through in in their fucking time with the Civil War, with the Civil War and this shit. That was some sad shit, dog. That shit right there will make it, dog. That shit made me cry, fool. Innocent voices. Yeah, fool. You watch this shit right here. This shit'll fuck you up. It's based you know, on like back in the day. It's, it's based. It's based about the Civil War and this. There's some real shit. I met a couple of the homies' grandmas that went through this shit, survived this shit, which is why a lot of people immigrated from Salvador to Mexico to the United States. This shit, right? This is a real sad fucking movie, fool. Like, it'll fuck your head up. You ever cried in a movie, boy? Uh, cried in a movie? Like, you seen the movie Cry? Probably when I was little. I don't, I don't like <laughs> as of late, like since, I'm, since I've been older or some shit. Nah. What's she crying when you little? Hey, look, cause you know a movie probably Probably me cry. What's that little. movie? What's that basketball movie? Uh, with Marlon Wayans. Like Mike? No, <laughs> no. Marlon Wayans. Like he made the NBA for, 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 nah. for loving basketball when he but fucked up a knee. Marlon Wayans. The Six Man. The Six Man, nigga. That's a fun, that's a comedy. No, it ain't the six man. Let me see. With Marlon yeah, Wayans, that's the six man. That's when he was a ghost. When he was a ghost. That made you cry? That movie was funny that was as sad, hell. Nigga. Man, you was a bitch. <laughs> that movie wasn't, that movie was, it was cool, but it was still like at the end, nigga. That the was ending, sad. yeah. That ending was Man, you know crazy. what shit was sad? You Fucking Coach Carter, block. when he's like, oh, he you said where? Coach Carter? Oh, yeah, yeah. I always said cool. Coco made me cry, but Pursuit of Happiness, nigga, that made me oh, shed yeah, a tear for sure. That shit just came out like two years ago or something. What? Pursuit of Happiness? He was crying as a ground like over a cartoon. Hey, but look. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, uh, uh, set it off. Oh, set yeah, it no, off until someone got killed. Yeah, right. Oh, hey! Set it off with Queen Latifah got out! Pipe down, pipe down. Hey, first of all, I'm a higher <laughs> up. I'm a higher up. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me to calm down because you heard. He said, I'm a higher up. What's wrong with crying in a cartoon? No, crying in a cartoon is crazy. Nigga, El Canto? Nigga lost, he El lost, Canto his, he lost his grandma, bro. I lost my granny. I felt that shit. Bro, El Canto is crazy. El Canto? El Canto. El Canto was good. El Canto. El Canto. Remember me. Nigga, that shit was sad, Wait, nigga. what were you talking about? Oh, when they was Coco. a ghost. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, That's Coco was when his grandma died. Cry, man, them little kids oh, out there Coco. thugging. And he went to be a ghost. Coco? The Mexican Coco Halloween. Coco was sad. Oh, Coco was... Oh, yeah, I'm talking about Coco. And Coco. And hey, Coco's, hey, I told Coco. you, Dad. I, I see like Dad made a video of him crying. He said, this movie is so sad. Remember Coco on Instagram. Oh, no. And Soul. Ooh, shit. Soul didn't oh, make me cry, but that's a that's a, that's, that's a, a good, good ass. Movie. You know what? You know what? I never seen Soul before. Is it good? With the cat? Yeah, that's a good movie. Soul's good. No, no it's, it's with Jamie Foxx, uh, the black man and the cat. Oh, this yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good movie. Yeah, that's cool. It's, it's a you great ain't movie. seen no black movies. Nah, I just haven't seen. <laughs> he it's a great seen movie. no black movie. I just haven't seen Soul. What do you mean? One of my favorite black movies is Love and Basketball. Whoa, that's not a black movie. That's a black movie. Love and Basketball. Oh, The Wood too. Yeah, The Wood is classic. Classic. Hey yo, we just told somebody to watch The Wood. Who was it? Not me. Probably good. Not me. You know The Wood supposed to be a a continuation. No, no, dope is dope. As a continuation. Cause Stacy in there, he's a security guard. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. What? You ever seen Dope? It is. Continuation. 
It's a continuation. It's not a continuation. It's it's they 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 made a, a callback sequel. in the movie. No, it's not a sequel. Oh. They just had a funny part in the movie that that was a callback. Stacy was a uh, security, security guard, guard at the high school. school. Yeah. Mm. That movie. That, I fucked with that movie though. Dope. That's mm. what dope. Fuck that movie. I, I watched it. <laughs> that shit was trash. I, 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 I think it's terrible. Ben Staples in there. What dope? That Tiger is, in there. That shit. I mean, the acting ain't bad. Rocky. Yeah. Yeah. It's trash. Okay, um, Griselda Blanco. I still haven't seen that. Griselda, shit. that shit was good. Yeah, they. Didn't I wish, the, I wish, I wish it was longer though. They didn't put the black man in there, dog. They can do a sequel. They I think, I think they're gonna homie. come back with some and do. They like, gotta put her black boyfriend in there. Because they interviewed them. Wait, wait, don't they gotta coco- look up cocaine cowboys too? Yeah, but let them them interview her black boyfriend. Cocaine wow. cowboys too. I think from out here. Yeah. I was from the bay. I think he was from the Bay. It's yeah, like, Cocaine yeah, Cowboys too was about him. Oh, so you know what movie was sad? Not sad, but when when I watched fucking um Blow and his fucking wife died while he was on the run, mm-hmm. that shit right there, I was like, damn, Blow that shit hurt my heart. Blow Blow is a good movie. When his wife died. <laughs> when his wife died. That's a classic right there. Blow. Great fucking actor that guy. That's what's up. Damn. What's that? What's that? Johnny? No, no. What's that? Johnny Man. Depp, right? Johnny Depp. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. all on the couch now, man. Again, this is our 50th episode. This is crazy, man. We five deep in here. You feel me? Don't worry that about nothing. That. My nigga Jack got shots. Jack got shots. He's oh, to get my God, low. man. It's, it's, it's do no birthday. It's, it's, it's pun birthday. It's our God 50th damn. episode. Pass him down. Pass him down. Remember me. Shots. Don't worry about nothing, you feel me? You said what? Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about anything. Uh, the fuck is that? A triple shot, bitch? Golly. What kind of alcohol? You got some more? Remember me. Oh, that's just that's only three, motherfucker. Oh, that shit smells no. strong than a bitch. That shit is strong. Damn. It's strong Woo. as a motherfucker. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. Get in the body ready for this weekend. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it! Getting ready for the weekend, Getting man. Getting ready for the weekend. Happy birthday, Pun. Happy birthday, Duno. Yes, sir. Wait, why don't you give him a big shot? It's a small shot. What Fuck no, about? you gotta do it with us. That's the same. Oh, why you gonna get you gonna... Okay. <laughs> gotta watch myself. Oh, watch yourself. <laughs> watch yeah. me. You don't want your titties out. Don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Thumbs out, baty. You don't want, don't want the drop guys. To more life. To more life. To more life. More life. Love y'all. Hey. Love y'all, man. Welcome home, King. Welcome, Okeem. It was crazy. Welcome, Okeem. What? Right. It's a pun said. Woo! You ain't fucking with? You ain't fucking with? Yeah. You ain't fucking with Kimmy King? Now that you're here, King. I mean, uh, pun. Pun, like, now that you're here, pun. Yeah. Check this out. You not fucking with Kimmy King? I fucks with him. I fucks with him. But as far as y'all can start y'all little new podcast, <laughs> but we're going to get a new credit card that's going to say $0, and y'all got a bill from there. As far as y'all giving him a credit card. He wasn't card, in a gym. Huh? He wasn't in a gym. So why you think he'd get a credit card and, and be a higher up? I never said that. What you say? Who said that? These two and these three. Yeah, so yeah, why, why you put it on me? Yeah, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting him a card. What? I'm giving him a card. Hey, what tips do I got to get? You give him a card? It's decided. It's no, no, bitch. bitch. Y'all We're going to invest in dedicated. You sure, bitch? I'm sure, cuz. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know they trolling you. You know they trolling you, Scott. They're going to ask my nigga six. I quit today. Shout out six. But Paul made him a, a new higher up. He he cracked it off. He a higher up of what? Uh-oh. Not no fake community world. That's what I don't care about. He can be higher up anywhere else. Not here. <laughs> y'all be going for it. Welcome y'all home. Welcome home, King. and blues and shit. I'm trying to keep clips <laughs> You, I, mean. I the, fuck with King. We gotta get the clip. Is, we did big budget around here. Shots getting cored. Hey, 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 hey it's Barber. No, yeah, let's go to the Barber. Shout Barber, out. Barber, make sure you talk to Jack. Tell him what you need. Yeah, Jack will get yeah, you right. Yeah, send the invoice, yeah, please. Send the invoice to Jack. <laughs> send the invoice to Jack. Need. Jack He's gonna right get you right. You know what I'm saying? But, but, hey, um, take care of him. Hey, hey Jack, give him, him. Give, him a, give him a tip too. Yeah. <laughs> take care of him right now. And you're just about to take care of him right now. He want to go. I don't know about a tip. Take care of him. Take care of him. I don't fuck with a nigga like that. Dispute. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, why my PayPal open, Sean? <laughs> Y'all niggas is funny, dog. <laughs> yeah, shout out my boy. What's his name, uh, Barber? Uh, Rue. Shout out Rue, man. Appreciate you, Rue. Yeah, shout out that my boy. That nigga pun here because took the longest. Yeah, and he got oh, a ball yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Put that. And they heard that nigga pun over there like you got oil. I was over there falling asleep like a motherfucker. <laughs> 
got it. Hey, what would you do if you woke up and the chiropractor was in your face? <laughs> <laughs> cut punch. <laughs> cut punch. The homie Rue got a duck tail. That nigga oh, Fred got, he got caught you. looking at that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that I'm like, hey, I'm hey, a little as hell, too. Hey, hey, T-Rail, hey. T-Rail, hey. How long you been growing that motherfucker for? T-Rail gonna air me out, because I was looking at the nigga Duck Tail, and like, I think T-Rail like, boy, I'm looking at your shit. Hey, <laughs> man, I mean, when he was cutting my arm, I wanted to pull that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pull! Oh, yeah, whole, hey, whole birthday this month, too. It's too many, man, too many April whole babies, man. Whole birthday right by mine, yeah. yeah. Right, come out. what you doing, ho? I be gonna turn up with the homie, man. Oh, he going crazy? You gotta turn up. We ain't going to El Shim Hope. Don't even worry about it. Hope doing something? I mean, that's the that's a Sunday. A herb, a herb pop party. Out, pop yeah, out. Yeah, Sunday, huh? Sunday, come to a pun shit. Yeah, pun man. shit about pun pun shit about to be a movie. Doing no shit about movie. to be a movie. It's about to be a good weekend. Yeah, Smacky, you gotta, you gotta come out, go up. Oh yeah, I'm outside. Drop hey, the I don't want to hear no Smack bullshit. Be dropping the I'm outside. Uh-huh. You need to be outside. Look at these damn sweats. Did you invite? Wrong, did you invite King? Hey, I've cut them wrong. Where? Shit, it happens. Did you invite King to 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 the shit? I got shot out the. Ooh, uh, bitch, I got shot out the. I probably hit King. You, you I ain't trying trying to... no invite shit. I gotta get him. <laughs> you need to Today. throw them shoes away, bitch. The motherfucker get orange. Don't match that orange. No, your dinner, your dinner clothes. Oh yeah, yeah. No, so. <laughs> How many people y'all going to dinner with? Just like seventeen. I'm I had, going, I had, I had I'm the, the clothes. You going? Yeah. I'm yeah. Yes, I'm not going. Yeah. Of course I'm going. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm going. Pun had a list. The list was. I didn't have a list. Man, listen. Let me talk. Okay. They made a list who they think Pun will want to come. They Pun. sent it to me. I said, hell no, nah, he don't want these people to come. I said, Pun, you want these people to come? The nigga chopped that list down so much. Oh, my yeah. nigga, please. I said, no, nah, that ain't happening. Who made the list? We ain't gonna talk about His it. His girl, probably. Who? Nah, that for sure wasn't Pun's girl. No, nah, fuck all Hiller that. made the list then. Bingo. <laughs> you went from 30, 36, 38 people to- He chopped to it down, man. 17. What's wrong? <laughs> Did you not strong? I am when strong. When that nigga came in there with the Man, you in it. I don't know. Too much out, man. You Shut up, nigga. Man, come Shut on. Shut up. Bullshit. How you get to it? How you do it? How you do it? Every night. What's going on? You had that leg like that? Hey, but he's like watching triple fight. It's like watching Disabled Olympics. Get him. The Special Olympics. He got you. Get him. <laughs> this nigga's is crazy, bro. Oh, fuck. Oh, my nigga, he got that nigga. Oh, we all love this nigga. Oh, oh man. man. I'm, uh, this weekend, That's man. crazy, man. Uh, y'all saw that Oakland A's new stadium come yeah, to Vegas? Yeah, that shit crazy. Mm-hmm. If that's, that's real, fire. that's wild. No, that's real. Yeah, that's, if that's, that's real, that's crazy. That shit is, I mean, it's Vegas. That is crazy. Nigga, they already got yeah, the fucking, the they already TV? got the uh, removable Ooh. football field at the uh, Raiders shit. Hey, so what happened when one of the motherfuckers crazy. just hit that bitch uh, straight to the top? Bow! It ain't gonna they ain't going that high. They got a what? They probably got some shit over it. Yeah, they got something, bro. They already that got shit made hard. That. That's, that shit that, is that, so hey, wait, hard. No, fuck that. Did you see them niggas that broke into the uh, the Clue Clipper Stadium? Oh, yeah, the little Edgars? Niggas. What they do? See, them little motherfuckers bro, they over broke, there doing hey, some wild shit. They broke into the Clippers stadium. Hold on, hold on. Fuck the Clippers shit. shit. This shit is player like a motherfucker. Yeah. This, this, this make it worth driving four hours to go watch a game right this there. This is a super upgrade. Yeah. Uh, if, if, super upgrade. Because they shit in Oakland you was sad. You think this shit fucking with the this Clippers a, stadium? Nigga, this is the first of its kind. No. Look at that fucking screen on, on the fucking ceiling, bro. That screen. Two different sports, motherfucker. We're talking about baseball right now. In baseball, they going to have one of the nigga, best stadiums. Nigga, I don't baseball. I bet Base, on Baseball, big money. Baseball, big money. Baseball, they get paid the most. Money. They get paid the most. I'm just saying, if I go here, Soccer. this is an ultimate fan experience. You get to see everything, what's going on, highlights. The the batter is probably gonna be on that screen, and the screen is super close to everybody. That shit's wild, and I can only imagine the VIP area. So the what the way it looks right now? What? Look, what? But but look, but look, the way it looks right now, nobody's gonna be able to catch home runs and shit. Because I'm assuming there's not gonna be no stands, or this is just like an AI version of it. No, it's, that's- Nah, you gonna be able oh, to catch that, home runs. Where, bitch, if it's good, that shit open, ho. What you mean, nigga? Back when, there. when, motherfucker, when they hit a baseball in Dodger Stadium, they go straight to the pavilion. Right here, there's no fans right there. Out in the middle? In the middle, yeah, there's no fans right there. You I see? mean, if you go, if you they're hit it out, then right there. Right there. I see what you're saying, dude. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you hit it out, They're probably some fans right there. So that shit might go all around. But, hey, hey, for, for, for either way, this is a player. Yeah. 
Play like a motherfucker. I don't know what stadium that is. I don't know if it's Boston. I don't know if it's in Philadelphia. Motherfucker, they be a... in the water and they catching the ball to home run. Oh. They be so, in the water. Oh, for the Bay. That's the Bay. That's the Bay. That's yep. San Francisco. That's San Francisco and the motherfuckers in the kayaks and shit. Yeah, they're in the that's kayaks. That's San Francisco. And they doing it up. Yeah. It's probably going to be people outside the stadium. They're probably catching home runs if that's the Where case. Where this shit? How far is this shit going to be from the strip? Uh, it's going to be on the tropical. Bro, that's gonna be right there. Not, yeah, yeah. That's, that's gonna be play. That's play. Cause the Raider Stadium, that shit flies a motherfucker. Right, around, so, oh, yeah, right yeah, on the side of the freeway. Just, uh, right off, right they, on the side of the freeway. So they, they, they got the club in the motherfucker too. Football stadium on the side of the freeway and the baseball stadium. And they got the spear right now. And they got the spear. Vegas is booming. They got the they got the club in in the Raider Stadium too to win. And they get the basketball team. Yep. And on top of that, nigga, they moving the, the they getting the, a basketball team. Yeah, they, post too. they, post they too. adding from the NBA or yeah. or are they getting rid of? Then I see, I see. They're my, making that shit Hollywood. Uh, they calling it Hollywood 2.0. They're building all these film studios down there. I seen, I seen, I seen, I seen Vince Staples say some shit on podcast B where he was talking about some shit, and I was like, that's true. They gotta get rid of them teams in the little ass cities that nobody give a fuck about, mm. and put him in a city that's really gonna generate money. Nah, bro, because some what, of them, some city of them cities about? need the money. They need that. That's everything for them. Oh you take that away from them, nigga. It's over. They economy gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. What's that for like, us? Like OKC. Okay, see. OKC okay, see booming right now. They booming, but it's not. They, they nigga not Shay, uh, Alexander. He's that hard. I know what I'm saying is just I'm going based off city. No, 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 man. Me- exactly. Oklahoma. Nigga, Minnesota got the biggest mall in the United States. What are you talking about? That nothing to do. I, 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 and nobody go. You fucking. Everybody, everybody go to the Mall of America. Yeah, you, bitch, bitch, you ain't been there. Yes, I have. What the fuck are you talking stupid. about? That nigga got the biggest mall of America. That has nothing to do with the base basketball team. You fucking. Shout out to Minnesota. They got fuck these state. niggas. Uh, let's, let's say it again. Minnesota, Oklahoma, Minnesota, Oklahoma, Milwaukee, Detroit, oh, the Wobbler. Even disrespect. Detroit, that's the worst. That's his disrespect. Hey, 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 hey. Detroit is the worst. For Detroit's a Wobbler. Well, they're just about? a really bad team right now. No, Detroit is okay, but they just lose it. De- Detroit going up right now. Nah, Charlotte booming. Detroit. Charlotte booming. Charlotte I like booming. Charlotte. Charlotte is booming. Green but no, Bay. it's still a small market. What you say? They say Green Bay. Green Bay. Green nah, Bay. nah, that's full. We talking about NBA. Oh, NBA. NBA? Oh, he, he's right. We talking about Milwaukee. Get him the fuck out of there. Oklahoma. Get him the fuck out of there. This, this, so this is what I think you should give a team to. Milwaukee, get the fuck out. Give of San there. Diego a team, and then give Vegas a team. And, and for, they're already opening the team in Mexico City. So it's cracking. San Diego need a team. You said take the Bucks? You crazy. Milwaukee is disgusting. I know, having one in Mexico City going to be crazy. The, for, the, for the NBA, is going to expand the next three years. Mexico City, they already said Mexico City is going to get a team. I know. That's going to be cracking. If Mexico City get a team, is crazy. And you know why it's going to be beneficial? There's a lot of money there. Players are going to pay less taxes and still get paid the big bucks. If and, it's a lot of money, then why are they crossing the border? No. You're fucking just stupid. You know that? Like you're just okay, this is your this is your client. This is your client, how stupid he is. I'm just No 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 say it again. Oh man. Just it say it again. Money, no. All right, go ahead. If it was a lot it's a lot of money there, why are they coming here across the border? <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just fucking. Pun is, pun is your boy. He's trolling. He's trolling. No, he's not trolling. He's stupid. He's trolling. No, he's being serious. He might be serious though. He so might. I, I don't make it wrong if he's like not asking. Like I, I get what you're saying. Just in Mexico City. Is like if he's really lost the body. Okay, so you think Mexico City's the only place in Mexico? So just because we have a lot of money in Los Angeles, you feel like people from Oakland shouldn't shouldn't want to move here? Hell yeah, it's LA to the Bay, man. I mean, but I mean, that's not, that's not, see, I'm not gonna have this conversation. That crazy. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, pun, Stupid pun, couch. <laughs> pun, hey, the tar couch. What's uh, up, man? <laughs> no, I was just saying in general, whatever it was, if we got the state, they got it, niggas, LA to the Bay. They wouldn't want to come out here just like we don't want to go out there, no matter what. It's a lot of money out there. I think still wait on the answer. <laughs> I'm trying to wait on the answer. Say it again. There's a lot of money out there. Why are they crossing the border? Because just like anywhere else, the money usually stays where the money came from. So the poor people don't elevate. Mexico is based off um, classism. So if you're rich, you're going to stay rich. If you're poor, you're most likely not going to turn rich. It's like India. So, yeah, there's a lot of money in Mexico City just because now it's a tourist place. There's a lot of money in Cancun. But what were you saying when you went to Cancun and Cabo and all these places? The motherfuckers working at your hotel, how much are they getting paid? 
Nothing. Dirt right. shit. So Dirt just because there's money there doesn't mean there's money for the community. Just like how there's poverty right all around LA Live doesn't mean there's money for everybody else. When I say money, is there's hardworking people, it's a tourist spot. A lot of the money comes from when people fly in. Right. So that's your answer. That's everything. Yeah. They, cross, they cross it for the, they they cross cross it for the it opportunity. If I'm from a little town next to TJ, Oaxaca, Mexicali, and Michoacan, and Rancho, where I don't have any resources, then I'm, not, I'm never going to make it there, no matter if there's an NBA team there or not. So you know what? You any, any capital in any country, if you go to Africa right now, there's a million poor states, countries, little towns that are poor. If you go to the capital, oh, it's booming. Place. If you go to Indonesia right now and you go to Bali, it's booming. So in Mexico City, they're going to be booming. The, the people inside the city are going to be able to afford to go to the game. No, probably not. Probably not. Probably so, not. So you, you think they're going to be relying on, on tourists and tourists to go to the game, the yes. NBA game? A, a lot of the things. And, and, y'all Mexico, y'all mind. and Mexico City is getting gentrified. Bro, how many people yeah. have never been to a Laker game, bro, that live in Los Angeles? I ain't never been to one. See? But the niggas in Los Angeles are still there. There's a lot of people in Los Angeles. It's but I'm saying... Than, it's more people in California and Los Angeles than other countries. No. But, but you got to understand. You but understand what I'm saying food. is, there's so a lot of locals... Tourists, it's not tourists at the Staples Center. Bro, it's a money thing, bro. Money thing. So if... This has like nothing to do. Okay, so how do the Clippers stay alive so long if these it's motherfuckers... Like argue, yeah. He likes to argue like it's a fucking <laughs> idiot. How do the Clippers stay alive so long if they were giving a free, free away free tickets? You want to know how? Because motherfuckers just had the money. If, if, if we're going based on financial, the Clippers should have been shut down years ago when they were, for when they were giving away 150 to 1,000 tickets for free every fucking game mm-hmm. for the last 10 years. For free. For free. And so niggas didn't want to go. Mexico City is turning into a big gentrification pot. Why people are moving to Mexico City? Because there's work, but most likely it's probably for the higher up. You pay the poor people cheap shit. So you want to create jobs. Inside of Mexico City, you feel me? Once you had bring the NBA there, because once you once once the NBA, there, I'm, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not saying it's not gonna help. I'm not saying you, it's gonna help because you're gonna bring the arena. But you're talking about one place. Jobs, but you're talking and about you're gonna create jobs around the okay, arena but, also. Okay, right? but okay, but you're talking about one spot. Yeah, one state in a big ass country. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Man, T. Rabbit's gonna argue, bro. That's like crazy. Stop gonna, talking to this nigga. I get what you're but saying, but but, I just want him to but if you're know. but if you're wondering, but if you're wondering, like my mom's from Mexico City, left it. Yeah. You want to know why my mom crossed the border of Mexico? City? You want to know why? Because yeah. they're not getting the same opportunities as the white kid that his dad was a lawyer and a doctor. My mom didn't go to X X amount grade. You know what I'm saying? Opportunity, you think man. Those opportunities are, are gonna come once they build. They might get a little people. better, but you're still talking about millions of people. You're just gonna get way more tourism. For, for, for the hotels is gonna be way more. For packed. just because the Lakers came from fucking where did they come from? Minneapolis. Where did where the mm-hmm. Lakers come from? That didn't change everybody else's fucking life around them. That's seasonal jobs, fool. You get what I'm saying? So you think? Having that stadium in Mexico City is going to be a seasonal job and not going to create... No, nigga, they're going to have concerts over there. They're going to have all type of events. It's not going to be seasonal. It's going to be a lot of shit. Mexico is going to create jobs for the people in the inner city. It's yeah. still not enough. It's still not the same as when you come to America and get a fucking better job, fool. You don't think so? Moving on. This is right. crazy, bro. The city of Miami is trying to cancel spring break. Let me what happened? They, I said the city of Miami is trying to cancel spring break. They got drones now, license readers. They're charging a hundred dollars for parking. Shit, I'm, that shit been going crazy out there. Wait, but I ain't gonna lie, Miami spring break. I ain't went there. Don't cancel it yet, y'all. Please. Don't no, bro, it's like college kids and shit. You too old. Yeah, they've they been out there, nigga, fighting, killing shit. Yeah, all it's, of it's, shit. it's bad every spring break. So it's oh, bad. You know, it's getting bad, but yeah, you know. Shit, I Take know they, impl- they implemented like a, a curfews and all kind of shit. But they've been doing that for years. They don't stop, stop nothing. nothing. See, they don't appreciate shit, man. You feel me? Go take it with the hardworking people at that need the money. You feel me? And go to another city. Miami booming. Are right, you shitting on Mexican people coming here to America? No, I'm trying to. I feel like I'm hating about it. My people Where coming to America, from, bro. I'm you're wondering, no, no, bitch. Do you want to keep having this conversation? Let's have it, bitch. No, I'm but when they come after you, no, I think he's do saying. Not. I think he's saying since since they fucking up out there, take it somewhere. Where they where do they not. appreciate this shit? 
Or get, yeah, that's um, what he said. Where do they appreciate it at? Where do they appreciate it? You can take this shit to Mexico. I never heard nobody say I'm going to go to Miami for spring break. That's what we're talking about. That's some white kid shit. Everybody go to uh, Miami for spring break. They're going to need PR cleanup after this episode. He's going crazy. I'm just asking a, a Hispanic guy what, what he thinks. About Miami or about our people crossing the border for a better life? That too, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, we could create jobs. Are you comparing Miami I think, and, and I think are America, you comparing Miami? Are you comparing them and forcing them? Do you think America is finally <laughs> creating funding and the jobs for the Hispanic people? You feel me? To go over there and our country to go over there and enjoy ourselves and have a great time. I think that's great. You feel me? And they can take all of this shit. And go over there because I love going to uh, uh, Mexico. I'm not even gonna lie. Mexico to you. booming. It's super. It's super beautiful. I never even been to Cabo and shit like that. It's, Cabo. It's, it's super beautiful. Puta Cana. I, yeah, I love going Puerto over Vallarta. there. So I think more of that shit is gonna should be. Tulum. Over there. The people are are super nice, super family oriented. I get what you're saying. Okay, uh, go start, over there. Let's create parts. all these jobs and, and, and go over there and parts. do all of it's that. Certain yeah. parts that are beautiful. Yeah, because uh, you don't go to Juarez and other places like that. When I was going to Cancun, as we was driving. Driving in Cancun, in it was like a ran down. Like it, it was kind of crazy because that was my first time going to Cancun. And I'm like looking, and I'm like, damn. You like said, when am I getting to paradise? Like it's all this like ran down on the side of the, like look, look, look like it's in a desert, just little mm -hmm. little shits built and houses, and and then boom, you you right at Cancun at the water. Man, we got. That's, like, that's like damn. That's like, that's like Jamaican. When I get you what you're saying. But this is my thing. But we okay, ungrateful okay. in America, so we super. ungrateful in America. And, and motherfuckers that's coming over, you know what I'm saying, crossing the border are super grateful. You feel me? Like, they're super, they want to work. You feel me? They way, way more hardworking than motherfuckers. They, they're they way more grateful than everybody. Way more family-oriented. They, they get along. They stick together. Who is that? You feel right. me? So why not create these opportunities? Bring that shit over there. Let's go see what it do over there. And we go chill over there because they not going for none of that shit. That we doing over here, cause if you try to do that shit over there, what y'all doing right now up South Beach, your ass is grass, right. nigga. They not fucking around with you. They not finna put no warning out and no drone, nigga. You not coming back here. It's and over. it's keep the peace. Ain't nobody raising their voice and doing it up. So I feel like why not help out? Go out there and go help out and let's fuck with it. Why not? That's what I'm saying. Like I mean, not? in all fairness, they do go out there. I mean, we do, but we only they do have yeah, poppers and beers. Is boom, yeah, yeah, they go out there. I don't know what the fuck you real talking about. They go to Cancun, yeah, they go to Cabo, go they, go to, Cancun, they go to Cabo, Tulum, like they go to Mexico Tijuana. City, like it's not like as a crazy as Cabo. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, Punta Cana is a spring break spot. They go to a lot of them spots. Do that shit where it's closer because we got a little. You got we got shit that's closer to us. You know what I'm saying? Tijuana. They go to a lot of shit. What do you mean, poppers and beers and poppers and beers is booming? They go to a lot of shit in Mexico, bro. What the fuck? Ben it's a, a lot, lot of shit in Mexico. Go. People go to. That's not gonna fix that. And, and, well, it's a lot of people that sh people go to. That's you know they go to, but it's, they be kind of like weary of what's going on because you know kidnapping and all the whole little oh, shit yeah. because the economy or whatnot. That's why I'm saying just why not build up and let's go help and go fuck with it because it's it's nice as fuck. You feel me? You wouldn't probably wouldn't have to do that shit. But building a stadium, having a team, I, I like that. I fuck with that. That's just one step in a great direction. I mean, That's yeah, all I'm saying. they they're really doing that just because they know how diehard fans like Mexicans become to anything that has to do with them. But just how people here that, that work for the Lakers, the Clippers, the, the fucking Ram Stadium, they still struggle, bro. You st so imagine this is in America, in the Los Angeles, California. Imagine people in Mexico City in the Mexico damn near could, would be considered a third world country in some parts of its of, of its of its locations. But just because the thing goes, that doesn't mean people don't want to come here for consistency and longevity and building a business or being able to live somewhere with the business. NBA season, bro, I have a lot of homies that work for the Lakers. That shit only lasts about six months. And then they got to go back to finding another job mm -hmm. or doing what they got to do. Right, so right. so it, it might have the economy and the look and the sense to where the richer get richer, but a lot of the poor still want to come here for the simple fact that you find longevity jobs, you learn, of course, more resources. So, yeah, which is cool. What's what I'm saying, which is cool. But they yeah. helping though. They helping. They helping trying to build. It's definitely gonna help some business yeah, it's around. Help. It. It's help. It's help. It's help. I, I, it's and, and I'm trying to figure out where they're gonna the right build direction. it it's in Mexico in right City. Direction. Cause that shit look packed like a mother. They're gonna find somewhere. Direction. Mexico City is the third biggest state in the world. 
All right, now uh, to the next one now. Because y'all been arguing, bickering. We just been sitting here. It's a good conversation. It's a good conversation. Cool. Yeah. No, it was cool. I like it. Wanna move on so no, no, it, it was cool. It was cool, though. I liked it. I fucked with it. I fucked with the camaraderie y'all had. Nelly <laughs> says his era was the toughest era in hip hop due to the amount of talent. Shit. Ooh. I believe it. What'd you think, bro? Oh, no, he was. That was a. That was a. But you got to think about it. It was way less rappers. It's way less no, rappers. Yeah, there was way less rappers in his era? Yeah. Hell yeah. You talking about the 90s and the 80s? No, it's not Nigga, There's a million era. rappers he now, bro. He didn't, he didn't put a, he didn't say a specific date. Bro. So let's go to his the era. His era 2000 era. Which is the two thousand was the let's early 2000s. Go to his era when Nelly was rapping. He's saying that. The early 2000s. 2000s. Let's go. You can say 2000 to maybe 2010. But let's see what uh, rappers is uh, out. Uh, where uh, he was, uh, uh. Where 50, Luda, Wayne. Hey, what year What year Nelly album came out? Country Grammar, 2000 what? 2000. That's say 2000. Okay, 2000? Oh, Country yeah, yeah. I just said 2000 to 2010, you can say. Let's go. Let's see what rappers was from 2000. Bro, I ain't nobody fuck with that era, bro. That's the coldest era. That shit colder. 2000, that 2010? Was, I'm throwing a 2000 baby. party. Nigga, that way nobody ever throwing an 80s era, bro. Nas, yeah, Wayne, oh Outkast. That's the oh, coldest oh, era. Oh, oh, Bust the oh, 50, oh. Eminem, Missy Elliott, you know Snoop. the artists that was out, but were they booming? Yes, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, yeah, what was that they hype? That's bro, the coldest just, era. Hey, 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 hey. But it's one of those days. What was the Nas album that's, 2000? Listen, that's the coldest era in what music, bro. What Nas album was you listening to? All I need is one life, one life. Listen, that's the coldest era in music. All I need is one mic, one mic. Nigga. I mean, fuck the bitch. Hey, pun. Hey, hey pun. One of those days, pun. 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 You didn't know. Pun. Pun. You gonna point that? You didn't know. Look, 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 no, no, look. listen, bro. 2000, 2010 is the coldest era. The documentary, bro. late registration, stank on you, still mad at Marshall Matters LP, nigga. Uh, uh, what else? Outcast, bitch. It was, but it was great music coming out. Lupe Fiasco, the cool. Do That's we think it was the hardest era to like to be an artist? No, he's saying they're the hardest, wise. bitch. He's saying like they were the best. No, no, he's not. He said the they toughest. were the toughest. When, when people say he's he, he's not saying like there were all the buffers motherfuckers there. No, he <laughs> was Nelly. saying he was saying to compete. Oh, toughest to make it. Yes, no, to so co- that's why they were the most to, talented ones because a lot of motherfuckers made it to compete. They, he had there was so many different artists that were at a certain caliber that they were going against each other for those number one spots and stuff. It's Boom. not like that no more. That's like right now how Boom. you can say. Oh, bro, every time Drake drop, he going to be number one. Drake don't really got competition like that. There's only a few people that you can say they can so sit there I'm and be peers. Nelly, when was, drop, oh, he got, I'm trying to figure out who it was t- tough for because all the artists. 50 Cent, nigga. Ludacris, nigga. Look, that wasn't tough. Them niggas was really wasn't doing it. tough? No. no, he's saying toughest to make it. Wasn't it wasn't tough for them to make it. They all were booming. Why, why that did that drop in the 2000s he he was don't, booming? You don't get what he's you don't get what he's saying, bro. I'm, I'm you don't you don't get what you're saying, bro. Which, which there's you major know? record labels, bro. We're back, major. guys. Media World is back. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> the higher ups is back. <laughs> major, <laughs> major. Listen, major record labels, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Compared to now, okay, right? You have somebody like Drake drop. Okay. Who can you can compare to Drake or drop the same time as him and put up equal sales and stuff like that That's in rap? Good. That's because they just wasn't no, doing answer, the music. No, answer, 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 who, who, who right now? If Jake drops right now, who, what other artists could compete with him right now? Uh, J. Cole, Kanye, Jay-Z. No. Nigga, fuck is you talking about? No. What are you talking about? Oh. No, Jay-Z J. Cole, what? maybe. Jay-Z, Jay-Z no. what? Jay-Z is not dropping Jay-Z the same Jay-Z numbers as Drake right now. Jay-Z, 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 Jay-Z could get a number one? <laughs> Are we talking about your fucking your that's weird. In future, are we talking about the quality of the music? We're future talking about either. our numbers. number one, future bitch. Is not either, bro. If Drake drop right now, what artist could drop with him and they're gonna go back Kendrick and forth? Lamar. It, Why are you hollering? Hold on, Kendrick Lamar. Close. And J. Cole. <laughs> I said that's close. Bitch, but you said J. But I'm saying there's only that a handful. Too. And Kanye. Nigga. Jay Z no. is not competing with Drake they're even, right they're now. They're not even gonna let Kanye go number one right now. He's number one right now. He has a number one song. And he had a number many, one album when look, he came out. And look how look look how much he sold. And they ripped it down. And they ripped that motherfucker off. Man, I've been listening to Kanye song <laughs> and, and album. <laughs> go to, go to first, go to first week numbers. All that shit is, is propaganda. But look, all those songs and all <laughs> those <laughs> artists. Propaganda. Look, I'm telling you, all those songs and all those artists were were hot, nigga. Niggas had to go actually go Bro, get he those sold one. CDs. He sold 148. With all the bullshit that he never went through. What that got to do with anything? Bro, I said somebody that could drop the same time as Drake 
You can't. And it'd be a, it'd be a, it'd be a, a, a struggle for him. You can't compare this era to, that, to that era, bro. It's like this. This era when niggas have to go and go to the store. And get, and you have to get people to go to the store CDs. and buy a support. I'll give you a prime example. Bro, Remember when like, 50, hold on, hold on. Remember when 50 and Kanye made the bet of whoever was sold the, mo- uh, sold the most that they're, uh, and they're they both were booming. You don't get what we're saying, bro. What are you saying? They were competition for each other. Are There's you saying not it was that easy? much competition anymore, bro. Are you saying that like, is it, like it was easy to boom? That's what you're saying right now. It was they were booming back then. So you thought that was they made it look easy, but they you, made it look to you easy, that was easy, and bro. They were booming. They it wasn't were, easy. Bro. They were priority at their label at the time. You couldn't be an independent nigga, bro, dropping the way these other niggas is doing. It ain't no TikTok. It ain't no motherfucking. It, there's no YouTube. There's nothing so that can make you pop in. Was, so you think everything was organically bought? Everything. No, back you're then. not getting what we're saying, bro. We're saying, nigga, that the ways that people get discovered now and they get popping. You had to go through a certain label, bro, and niggas was dropping numbers on them boards. So right now you're saying what Nelly, so you're debunking what Nelly is saying. So you're saying it's tough right now. No, it's no. easier, nigga. It's easier. You it's can get a, it was you tougher back a, then you because you can have, have a song pop copies. on TikTok right now and, and, go, go, viral. Get, and go viral and, and, and drop some sales right now. So you couldn't do that back so then. So if it's easier, why is nobody on Drake's level? And you can buy the album. What are you, you talking about? He said it was tougher, fool. It is tough. It, no, it's, bro. What you're real saying is it. Bro, hey, hey, on, prime wait, example, wait. prime example. If Nelly didn't drop something <laughs> hot and it didn't chart a certain type of That's way, it. them labels, they'd be like, you know what? Let's put him on the shelf. They did a lot of artists like that, fool. Are and their career was done. Are you kidding me? They were buying albums back then. Like they were buying streams. Pun, tell this nigga what, that, what, they were, that they were putting artists on the shelf. What is the debate right now? What is the actual debate you're making right now? That is easier was, now. He said it was tougher back then. It was tougher than it back is then. right now, and it's not. It is. They had to pay for hard copies. You had to go into the store and buy it. Now they can do it. And on labels screens. were buying albums. But like T Rail, okay, how many stuff. artists were they back then that were popping? We're looking at them. But you're not getting it. Now, compared to now, compared to what it was back then, it's night and day, bro. You can't. Them niggas right now, they make a TikTok hit and boom, nigga, they get their deal, nigga, they, they sell, they sell, and all that shit. It's because easier for them. the labels them. are smarter because they only invest in, in certain things. We're going to invest in a single. We're not investing in su- a super projects. We're not doing what we did back then. It's smarter. You feel me? Let's invest in this song right here. We're going to put the money into this song, these TikTok songs, or whatever the case may be, and we're going to make the money but like that's that. All, There's that's, a lot of artists that don't even have of, full albums. Listen, that's off of discovery, though. They seen something getting some traction, and they said, okay, this is a smart bet to put some money on. They wasn't doing that back then. They would sit there and take a chance with somebody, put a single out. If the single didn't work, they put their ass on the shelf and their career was done. No matter what, but that's but yeah, that's hearsay. You feel me? Like that's not hearsay, that nigga. That's, hearsay. that's fact. Yeah, but you can't name your artist that got done like that in the two thousand. What do you mean? How many one hit wonders in the two thousands? And, and, and I was buying singles from the swap meet, nigga. I bought the single, nigga. Then I bought the remix. Then I bought the instrumental. The singles was coming out. Those singles was working, and I did record labels was buying those singles. Man, it, so you saying there was tough. no? It was the same. Shit. You were saying there was no one hit wonders it in the two thousands. It's tougher right now you're than it is back wasn't, then. Artists Artists wasn't getting shelled back then? Is that what you're saying? Artists was getting shelled, but it, it's not, it wasn't tougher back then than it is right now. Fuck no, nigga. You know how much music artists is putting out right now on streaming platforms? It's so much music coming out right now. It's so washed out, nigga. Like, you can come out with an album, I'm going to listen to it for a week, and it's over because you're going to have another fucking album coming out just like this, nigga. It's, it's albums coming out every 10 minutes. It wasn't like that back then, nigga. Yeah, These but it's more. just coming out with but, albums, and we had to listen to it. So why we had is to somebody- live with it, nigga, for months yes and that's bro you're not you're we not had getting to listen to, we had to live with it with months it's, it wasn't tougher back then it's tougher now bro nigga. they have more competition back then there's no competition right now bro where is the competition nigga Back then? Back then. Nigga, pull up the lineup of who was out between That's 2000 and 2010, bro. Hot. There wasn't pull no up the competition, lineup. nigga. It was a lot of competition, T-Rail. Tons bro, of competition. Bro, we talking bro. about 20 niggas 50? versus thousands of right niggas. Right now, all you okay, got is Kendrick on the West Coast. But it's not thousands of niggas popping, bro. Only it's Kendrick is out on the West Coast. Niggas. Back then, you had a lot of niggas out on the West Coast. That's like right now, bro. You had Dr. Dre hot. Look, look, You had the goddamn gang hot. That's like news. That's like, that's like, yes. You had a lot of niggas hot, bro. Wayne. They say, oh, Wayne about to drop, nigga. One of these artists may be like, damn, I don't even want to drop this time because 
Comp it's gonna be super competitive for them, bro. Mm -hmm. They want to get the right shit. You got Jay Z, you got Fifty, nigga. You got Drake, you got Wayne, you got Luda, you got Eminem, you got Ti, you got bro Buster. Busta. You got all this these niggas. Peak, bro. I this had to peak all their careers. I, I, was, I wasn't listening to. And let me say this: in high school, bullshit. Oh, 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 in high school, stop it. We talking about what? Bitch, you graduated in 1998. You graduated in 1998. What the fuck are you talking about? We talking about That's 2000. That's 2000. You graduated high school. I 2000, to, bro. I wasn't listening to fucking Drake in 2000. Get the. You wasn't in high school. You was out of high school Drake when Drake was came out. out in 2000. Listen, that's 2000, 2010. They're talking about he came out at the end of, the, of that era, bro. That's what we're saying. Between 2000, 2010. I'm going to tell you like this. Hold on, I'm here. Let me bring this to you. Right now. That's so my era, era, fool. Hey, Smack, can you name one song from every of these artists that are on here right now? From 2000? Look at this whole list. From 2000? Yeah. I think I can sing a song from every artist. On I, I can sing a song yeah. from every artist right now. And 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 me and, and, and me and Six were born. I was you born with Eminem this. Eminem at the first one, right? What I'm saying, you you could you can name a song right now if you put Eminem at his Mar height, Marshall killing it. Okay, okay. Marshall okay. Mathers, 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 Mathers. Right now, if you put if you put the X amount of rappers that are on here uh -huh. on a list from right now, and you show me off. Boston Rich Shuddy. I can't name you one song Bro, from all these motherfuckers. Y'all got the game fucked up, and I don't like how motherfuckers be only. You only categorize people, the artists that are new. <laughs> from 2010, if you're going to go 2000, 2000 to 2010, great artists. I love it. <laughs> but from 2010 to right now, you can't be like, I don't know none of these niggas' music. You lost your fucking Nigga, mind. No, 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 Compare what this list. What are we list. talking about? Compare We're comparing no, 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 this no, no. list to right no, no. now. No, 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 no. I said Hold right on. now. No. Compare this list to the top 20 artists of today, and you tell me that they fucking with these niggas on here. Put top, put, put from two, the put from top 20, 20, 20 artists of now, compare them to that early put 2000s. Them put, put them up. up. Put them up. Let's go. Put them up. Put 2020 rappers. Come on. That's a cold list, though. That's a cold list. It's Tyler. How is that colder? It's not colder, but it's a cold list. It's a cold I don't give a fuck about no logic, Man, bro. Get the crazy. fuck half the niggas, Half the niggas that are on here, bro, come from the old era, and they were in their prime in the old era. Y'all crazy, bro. Y'all crazy, bro. Look at the audience, look at the audience, bro, look at that shit, bro. Skeet Master's drunk gun. No, no, shut Get up. the fuck out, no, shut shit. Up. You can't put, you can't, you can't shit. put Snoop in there. See, you can't put Tupac in there. You can't put 50 Cent in there. You talking about from 2010 and now? Bro, 2020, 2020. not prime, bro. Tupac's not alive. Yeah, he was dead in 96. No, we can, of course we can catch the two by so let's get our years right then. Nigga, let's, let's get our years right then. They sitting there getting, oh my god. You that's just say Diddy to Tyler, 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 bro. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler bro. Shout out to Tyler. Here's it out. Here's this out. Here's this out. You're Why is Tupac in 2023 rappers, bro? Hear me out. Hear me out. That shows you how bad. <laughs> that, bro, that shows you how fucking bad. The, okay, so look, the look, 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 We'll do it like this. All right, look, six. We're, we're naming right now. You can say Drake, yeah. Future, mm -hmm. Travis Scott, Kodak Black, Tyler, Tyler. Yeah. Um, go keep keep scrolling. Yeah. Thug, Thug. Meek, Meek. Uh, yeah. Six Nines on here. Okay. Cole, J Cole, J Cole. Uh, that's what it is. Nigga, bro, like twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. Juice. Juice World. Okay. Yachty. Uh -huh. Okay, Yachty. Lil Baby. Okay. Polo G. Uzi, Cardi, ASAP, Young Boy, it's not starting to match up. Get the fuck out, Lil Durk, Gunna. That's crazy. But this shows how everybody now grew go, up. Go back, go back to the, the other fact one. that y'all think that's crazy. No, but I just feel like Eminem, Ludacris, Wayne, Drake, Ti, oh, Game, Jay Z, wow. Fifty, Missy, Outkast, Busta Rhymes, Ice Cube, Nas, Nelly, Snoop. What are you talking about? And you know what? You know what? And you know, know that legacy though. We know that legacy at this point already. We don't know what these new niggas' legacy is about to be. We don't know what they legacy Bro, is about to be, and it's super early on. Their competition, Travis Scott, when he dropped, is wiping everybody down there off that list, bro, by himself. Hey, look, check this out, man. These artists that the artists that came out in the two thousands, we had to live with those CDs, and we we going we going they are automatically legends in our in our in our households because we had to live with them bitches for months nigga because nobody else was coming out for months i don't remember so, Nelly i don't said, remember so I, I, don't remember, the era was I don't remember music dropping like every week nigga and every month a new album dropping you're, every you're, month you're i don't you're proving you're proving my point i bro. don't 
You're proving my oh, point. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, you're what, proving what, my point. What was the point? You're saying that we're not even living with the music as long like that, too. So No, that, we are living with the music because we had no choice. It were CDs. Yes, and you're proving my point. What's the point? The era that they came from was way more competitive. There was physical sales. It was way more album sales, It was sales, competitive, bro. but still, like, that's not proving no point. Like, that's the record label not dropping the fucking music, nigga. Bro, like, <laughs> what the if fuck you, are you compare this list to the new list, bro, they don't have as much. Well, who's, who's competition for Travis Scott like that? Who's Travis? T- oh, oh, who's competition for him when right he now? When he drops, he Travis Scott. They're gonna say this person is gonna drop. They can they can fuck with Travis Scott numbers. Nigga. Drake, nigga, Lil Who Uzi, else? and Playboy Cardi, nigga, and J Cole and Kendrick, right now. That's and look at these compared to these twenty niggas, bro. Nigga, on Go, the west. Keep going, keep going. You said you said four or five niggas. Keep going. I could still look, but when we went on this Keep list, going. on this list, when you see Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre, I could say Thug, but and Future. But I, if I if I'm going no. on it, look. But if I'm going on the West Coast, who did you know on the West Coast only? It was just Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, and Game. Pop Dogg, and then long look. He came way after. Okay, nigga. but look, how many of these way new niggas? After. How many of these new niggas got a one number one album? It only it, yeah, harder is. The number one album shit is just so it's just so watered down. It's hard to get. You feel me? Because music the number is just one so album is not watered down ever. It is watered down because you can't get that shit. It's so hard to get that shit with the amount. It's of always music been hard. That's coming out right now, bro. The amount mean? of music that's coming out right they now. They have is less. So crazy, they have less dog. competition now, bro. They had less competition because albums weren't coming out frequently, as frequently. You feel me? So it was easy to have a number one album back then. Albums, so albums, albums, album 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 when album Tupac dropped, the is crazy, bro. you crazy. So when Tupac <laughs> dropped, who was dropping at the pop? Bro, Tupac yeah. died when in 96, bro. When he dropped, when he, <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> when he, yeah, when he yeah, dropped. Yeah, it was full Look, but he when, said it was easy to have a number one, bro. It was easier than then. right now. What so when that? Tupac dropped, who was coming out after him? So rap was easy back in the day is what you're saying. I didn't say that, but who, when Tupac dropped, who was coming out after him? Who did, what rapper did we know was coming right after Pop? That's your ear. You I'm just me. trying to see. <laughs> who was coming Snoop after him? Snoop Dogg when he had... Uh, no. Yeah, he, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, but he transitioned No Limit, so yeah. you had No Limit, yeah. you had Cash yeah. Money. Yeah. yeah. Something from Diddy or Mace. Hello, Cool J was going up back then. This months after. This months after. This ain't no same... This ain't the next weekend we gonna give uh, Pop seven days, and then here come Diddy seven days later. Niggas wasn't doing that shit. But these niggas, bro, a lot of the new niggas now are not even hitting those type of charts, bro. Because having the, that same competition is not competition the same the, way. Because the nigga, because it's so watered down, nigga. The, I'm talking about it's fluctuated, nigga, with music. I'm talking about it's oh, we are overwhelmed with music. It's because the streaming platform. We overwhelmed with music, bro. It's so crazy. But there's nigga. not a lot of artists, bro, that are at a certain caliber that they just stupid booming, bro. It's not no more. That's why rap is all fucked up right now. Yeah, it's not stupid booming because anybody. Fucking jack of that, was a, record, that was nigga. a Nobody, that was a it's gonna be, that was a cold yeah. era of, of hip hop, bro. A super cold era. That was of a cold era because it was a lot of gatekeeping going back then. You feel me? And then those those albums can live with you. You feel me? And then you we had to live with those albums and we became real fans. It was almost kind of like this podcast and shit. We we when Cash Money came out, we lived with we loved it. Nigga, when Master P and them came out, we loved it. When Game and them came out, we loved it. But how I can't you, go to no artists right now, and I can't indulge in anything you, that they're how doing. How did you find those type of artists? How did I find those type of artists? You found those type of artists, bro, because the labels that push them are the association that they have, bro. Nowadays, bro, somebody can make a song on their phone right now and get a record deal. You couldn't do shit like that back then. And you say, oh, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. That's because, bro, the labels is throwing money at everything that they think is working or is hot at the time, bro. There's no substance when it comes down to that. Yeah, whenever they, whatever they thought was hot, they was throwing the money at it. You feel me? They was throwing the money at it. And whoever was on the other record labels, they was throwing the money at it. It was, so it was harder, it was, it, was, it was going crazy. It was way harder, bro. It was bro. way harder to be an artist. It was way harder to get signed. This the era when you had to do motherfucking nigga, sample fuck, tapes and fuck all go that. wait in the they, lobby at the nigga, studio. You know how much they, do you know how much they music videos right now, was back TikTok, then? TikTok, bro. You know how much they music videos was back then? It wasn't no pull up with the camera real quick. We put this shit out. 
Them niggas was spending two, three hundred thousand dollars on one music video back then, bro. Yeah, million. That was eating into their fucking one recording million. budget. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And if them niggas didn't perform the right way, they got dropped. Yeah. Their career is done. They sitting on the shelf. So Nelly, so Nelly is one of the artists that made it in that era. It was an artist, a lot of artists that came out with him that didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was that was trying to be in his position, but didn't make it to that part. There was Ball Thugs and Harmony, and then there was Crucial Conflict. The Crucial mm -hmm. Conflict is the biggest Ball Thugs and Harmony. No, but they were a better group. People were comparing them, so they couldn't fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? But that's why so Nelly like, said it was harder. It was for him harder, back bro. Then. It was super hard. You're competing for him. against fucking. Like, these niggas is booming. They got the streets on lock. They got radio on lock. They, they get, so what mm -hmm. I'm saying is, once you get in position as an artist back then, do we think it was, do, do you really think it was harder once you got in position? Because I feel like once you got in position, the label was, the label was backing you. And then whatever single, whatever song Only you Only if you was priority, bro. Only if you was priority. So what, that's what I'm saying. So Nelly was a priority. So once you're an artist and you, you're at priority... You're a priority artist. Do you think it was harder? It was. Do you think it was that much competition? Yeah, because he still had to deliver. You, but they was delivering though, and they was they had their core friends. That bro, shit was, that right, shit was crazy. right, right now, bro. There's niggas. There's niggas that you know, bro, that can leave this label and go to another label and still have success. Go to another label, do it independent, still have success. Them niggas couldn't leave no label and have no success. They were done, so, bro. But if they I, didn't deliver. But the thing was, when, back then, was make sure we got the label funding. Once you get the but funding, but what happens when the, the label, label didn't fund it no more? But look, once you got the label funding, nigga, and the, and, and you got a hit record, you're nigga, we out of here. I don't give a fuck who out. And then nigga, once you get that hit record, said, Eminem and his mama could have been out. Once I got the funding, we good. But That's once what I'm they saying. once they got that funding, you got to understand too, bro. They were spending way more money to produce their shit, bro. I mean, nowadays, they were, they were, nowadays bro, you can buy a camera right now, my nigga. Nigga, let's just say you buy the camera, you pay five, ten thousand for the music video, pay for the marketing and shit, your shit gonna hit numbers, bro. Them niggas is paying two, three hundred thousand for a music video. And having a service that on MTV and service that on BET and shit like that. And if it didn't work, nigga, they was uh. That's why most of them artists at that time, too, they was broke as fuck, fool. They were broke as fuck with due to the contracts and the shit that they was looking at and where they was coming from. So for it sure was harder was for them. For sure they was broke as fuck. But they broke right now. Bro. But they got to do with anything. Oh it was harder for them back then, bro. It's no way it was harder for them, homie. <laughs> it's no fucking way. It's no way that it was harder for them. It was harder for them right now due to the influx of artists that can drop Anywhere, so anytime, T real. Any, so could they be independent anytime. back then and survive? Could you could you go no. back in the day? Could you go record a song in the studio and upload that next morning? No, you could not. Okay, you cannot. So you had to go the, to that a label. It was harder. The, the you base, had to get. You over. had to have people put capital it's behind. Too easy you. right now, bro. Exactly. It's, it's easy, too easy to record a song and put it out. That don't mean it's gonna hit, dog. It's Take, because it's too easy. There's millions of niggas doing that. Yes. But there's people that actually go, go through the cracks, my nigga, and pop for them. Like the four bats nigga right now. They're like, oh, we like his sound. All right, cool. Let's do this now. Let's pump it up. Let's pump it up. They're not doing that. Back then, nigga, they had to be at the... Look, look at uh, Big Sean. He had to go to the radio station, bro. Hopefully hopefully rap for uh, Kanye. And he said, like, okay, I'm going to sign you. And that's all we know who he is. Yeah, look what Kanye had to do. Or Yeah, Kanye. Make the beats and do all that. Or J. Cole. Like, damn, I hope... I see Hov and holler at him, and, and you see who he is. You get what I'm saying? To be even put on that pedestal, bro. To do but he said today. it was tougher. He said it was tougher for an artist to compete. Then it, it wasn't, was. It wasn't, nigga. Once they got into, I'm saying, once they got to a certain nigga. level, once they got to a certain level, it wasn't harder. How for did them they to get compete. to that certain level, T. Bro, we're not talking about how they got there. I'm talking about once they got there. It was you can't for them skip to the process of how they got there, bro. I can't. I can't because that's what he's bro, saying. These I'm niggas, answering his these question. niggas, these niggas can make a song right now, pop on TikTok, my nigga, get money, be gone tomorrow, bro. They can, but I'm answering his question. You said it was tougher for the artists back then. It was and tougher. And it wasn't for me. It they wasn't. had more competition back then. How many? How it many? was harder for them to make music. Right now. It cost oh, more no, no, for no, them no. to make music. Right now, how many podcasts? It was bigger artists at the time. How many podcasters do you know right now? How many podcasters? How many podcasters do you know right now? Like, on my hand? Like, just <laughs> in general. How many podcasters do you know right now? <laughs> Damn near everybody, right? Yeah, so it's a lot but of Hear podcasts. me out, hear me out. Okay. How many radio hosts do you know from back then? 
compared to how many podcasters you know right now? There's, it's, I only know like two radio hosts. <laughs> It's the exact same thing. It was harder back then compared to what it is now. You can put a camera up and you're a podcaster now. Right. Back then, you actually really had to have connections, super talent. You had to do all these things. So it's, it's but radio hosts and podcasters ain't the same thing because radio hosts, like you know what I'm saying, it's on a, it's on a, it's on a, on a, on a way to, radio waves. <laughs> like it's everywhere. You feel me? Like that shit. Like it's so. Like, so how bro, did you how did you get in there though? It's she real she back real. there. He how do you get in there? I don't know how the fuck you be a, a fucking uh, radio host. That shit trash to me. How, okay, so how was you? How was you a rapper? How was you able to become a rapper in the early two thousands? Oh shit, man! You make a demo tape. You feel me? You and rap, what do you do with the demo you tape? Make a, you make a demo tape and you start passing it out. It's the same thing you're doing with streaming, though. But you had to get streets. attention from who? The streets. <laughs> Okay, the streets, but somebody higher up had to sit there and listen to your demo, and they say, you know what? Let's put some money behind this person. And then, you know how hard that is to do that? It is hard to you, do that. Versus now, you can make a hard. song, you can make a song, upload it, and it, it may catch some waves, nigga, and then, oh, oh shit, well, we it's not arguing. Now. We're not arguing how you got there. We that arguing. means it's easier now. It we, was harder back then. We're arguing. We, we're arguing. We're arguing he came from an era that it was harder for him to, to compete in hip-hop. Hits. Look, it was harder for him to compete once he got those hits. It was harder. That's where we're arguing. Not the ar- <laughs> We're not arguing the way how he got there. It's okay, buddy. You want this one. Yeah. Let, let him have it. Let him have it. You got it, bro. Let him have it. We could go all day. This shit was gonna go ten hours. <laughs> this was gonna go ten again. hours. Y'all saying the same exact thing to each other, bro. No, the, the, the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know podcasts. I know we getting chilly. Oh Give me some more God. shots. Y'all heard. <laughs> <laughs> and then the whole, the whole said, "Tail Cut DMX put out two albums in 1998. Both went platinum when it was unheard of." And I think I, I love that. So who came after him? Oh, I'm done. God. <laughs> Bro, no, DMX put his album out. Who came Come out on. the next fucking week after DMX? I just really want to know. Nobody, oh. nigga. <laughs> Come Dog on, good. G. He said Young Stead. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, Stead yeah. was, from... was giving niggas room back then, bro. I mean, I mean, shit. Look at this, bro. Stead was from the era. He didn't make it. It was hard. This <laughs> 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 was. <laughs> 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 Hey, hey, no. Nigga hey. cold, bro. No, he wasn't. Hey, no. Nah. Yeah, because he was signed to little flip. Little, little flip. flip? You mean a little flip. twist? Hey, flip. Hey, shout out. Hey, no, 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 no. You mean a little twist? We ain't even. No, no, shut on. Huh? I ain't even gonna joke with y'all, though. Step well, you sign with, a little flip or a little twist? Look, I'm not even joking to y'all. Bro was with Lil Flip. I'm not. Bo- I'm not he even. He was signing Lil Flip. Cud was with Lil Flip. You feel me? The shit just didn't work. out. Hey, radio out. back there. Look, Cud just didn't work out. You feel me? Then you know, start fucking with Lil Twist, and then that shit just didn't work. Why out. Why we it talking about Stick? I mean, don't make no fucking sense. <laughs> but I'ma just big Cud up. He was with Lil Flip though. I ain't gonna lie. To and it was hard. You're explaining what we're saying. It was harder back then, bro. For Cud. <laughs> 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 Literally just saying it was with Lil Flip it didn't work out. It was, it was harder no, back no, there, bro. But he, he was, he Man, said, right now, if that was with Lil Uzi, you'll be booming. We're not arguing the point of how you got there. We're arguing the point when, you, when you're when you there and <laughs> you have to sustain. He said his era when you have was to sustain harder to, 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 yeah. to compete, bro. Let's move on. To compete means you have to sustain once All you're right. in the spot. Jack, let's cut the cake because I got to go. Who Correct. determined? Thanks, bud, for getting the cake, Who determined let who stayed how? Go. Why are you mad at me? Because you made fun of the street. Let's go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you. Let these niggas argue, It's five of us. Chill, bro. Take a deep breath, bro. Take a deep breath, man, man. All right. Come on, man. Come on. Come Tell me out of the cake, man. I'm trying to show appreciation. Man, these niggas are scandalous, man. Come on, man. Here we go, bro. Here we go, man. Why'd you get a two? We're going to go happy birthday. Oh, oh. Ah. That's so stupid, bro. Fuck with it. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. I was yeah. all ahead. Yeah. Yeah, happy birthday, birthday, happy birthday to you, you too. Happy birthday to you too. You got a hundred for us, Cub? Happy birthday, go Put and do no. Happy birthday to you. That nigga said, here you go. That nigga said, here you go. Here, Bob. Watch out, Cub. Don't come up here playing, bro. Don't come up here playing. Come on, bro. Stop, stop. I'm going to that. Nigga always playing, bro. <laughs> oh, come on, he didn't even get the blow. Good luck, Jack. Playing. I blew it. I blew, hey, blew, blew it out. Damn. I blew, I blew it out. 
I, ah, bro, shit. Whoa! We can't even blow a candle now, bro. We can't even enjoy a tradition that's been going on for years. I hey, appreciate it, sir. Appreciate the cake. What did it say right there, though? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, pun, and, and Dom Dom Domino's. And Domino's. <laughs> and yeah! Woo! Hey, give my nigga another piece, another piece of chicken, man. That motherfucker was fire, huh? I'm about chicken. Yeah, give my nigga another piece of chicken. Hey, I'm out here, I gotta go out with All right, man, we go. Love y'all you know motherfuckers. We love y'all fucking. Two more minutes? Huh? Huh? Two more minutes? Oh, two more minutes. minutes. Two more minutes? Two more, more minutes for what? All right, he want to do. He want to do two more minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we up in here, man. Make sure y'all smash the like button. All right, see you on Saturday, man. Are we on coming show then? The the one out here. When is it? Oh, April fifth. April, April. All right, April. We still live. Yeah, two more minutes. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Oh, the two more. Oh, okay, two yeah, yeah. We oh damn, we over here waiting for the two hour mark, man. My boy Duno got to go do something, man. His birthday uh, festivities going on. He got to go make sure everything. Cold my boy, my Saturday. boy, uh, Pun had to get that fresh ball head. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout, shout, my boy. Shout out to my nigga Ruth for coming through. Pun, shout out, Ruth. This nigga, this nigga Duno, fat, homie. He had to go get some of that chicken before he leaves. He's about so to leave, crazy. Right? That's 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 chicken. Leave that. Shout out my boy. Shout out my boy Ruth in the back, man, with the fresh cuts on the wind. Yeah, you feel me? Big it. budget. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, my young niggas, y'all bought some clothes? Um, hey, you what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Uh, shout out my nigga Top Dog. You feel me? He was honored with his own street in Watts. Oh, God. Don't oh, worry about nothing, man. Shout, shout out, out dog. Top Dog. You feel me? Anthony, Anthony Tiff, Tiffin, 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 Top, top dog, dog square, square, man. That's dope. Shout out my boy. Out shout out my boy, top dog, man. For That's real. dope as hell, man. To get your own shit like that, you really doing it up, man. And get up. No, 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 no. You real? That's, That's really period, doing yo. it. You know what I'm saying? Central. That's God. really, 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 really he doing it. it. Though. He put so much in back to his community, doing Facts. toy drives, all type of shit. He deserved that, man. Yeah. He gave back to the community, oh, man. man. He definitely gave back to the community all Shout those concerts top, he didn't throw in the projects. Death. Yeah. Everything he's done. Free. Bringing those free. artists. Yeah, free. Free. Let's get that little record flag. Free. Uh, all right. All right, badass. All right, badass. Big free. Free. <laughs> he got a whole damn plate. Plate. Get <laughs> your fat ass out of here. You got to respect that he brought A1 celebrities there to perform in Watts, California for free. Yeah. Shout out to you, Top. Man. Shout out shout out to you, Top, man. You feel me? Uh, I hope to do that one day. You know what I'm saying? It's a process. It ain't going to happen when we want to. It's going to yeah. happen. It's a process. It's I done gave away process. shit in the ghetto before. You feel me? And had a couple of um, giveaways hey, with White say? Boy. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm hey, saying? Don't come, just hey. Don't yeah. Save a life. Save a, uh, uh, save a life, L.A. Or save a child, L.A. Save a child, L.A. Save a child, L.A. Uh, Shout out White. Shout out you and White. Shout out White Boy. Free you know White what I mean? Boy. Free White Boy. Um... Uh, six. He want to bring this up so crazy, you know what I mean? But I definitely socked you out. I definitely, bro. I definitely socked you out. I definitely socked you out. But it was it was one and a half hands. You you got faked by the other hand. You you. I didn't want to land no hits on you. It was fake. You want to land a hand? You want to land a hand? Look, 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 land. I'd have landed that. I'd have landed that. I'd have landed that. Look, that, look, 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 land, 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 land. Oh, I landed like five on you. I landed like five on you in one hit. Look, one little. And then you was tired, bro. I didn't want to sock you out. That's the whole little thing. Man, bring your the camera right there, bitch. I'm gonna bring it over there. But go over there, get it up. Do you know what I'm saying? They want to. We finna end up. Uh, Shame on you. We gonna do it up, man. Love y'all to death. Um, before we get out here, we got one more topic, man. Jeff Bezos' wife. This is crazy. Um, she was awarded thirty billion dollars. She definitely was rewarded, punk ass bitch. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. First of all, she was she was rewarded from her divorce, thirty six billion. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely didn't get that wrong. And then she gave away sixteen billion. Where is she at? Cause I need some money. She is giving away money to nonprofits, man. That that aren't asking for money. Damn. She said, "I'm gonna stop till I'm empty. I'm I'm not stopping until I'm 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 not stopping until the safe is empty." Golly. 
That means she don't give a shit, and I know why she don't give a shit because she still got shares in this man's company. So it just don't even work. It don't even matter. You feel me? But she definitely had the thirty six billion. Um, but we on here, man. Every Wednesday, uh, shame on you, man. Four o'clock with the homies. Duno, you doing this comedy thing? He finna go uh to the Laugh Factory real quick. We got my boy AD with new me. New shows on the way too. Yeah, new shows on the way. We doing it up for everybody. Big Chili's in the chat because it's Chili's going on. Get the Chili. You feel me? Just head on Prize Picks again. You want to get some picks? Yeah. Holla at your boy. We we got the, 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 it's it's real food in here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> chef, we need another chef because you ain't brought a chef in here in a minute. Too busy, man. You know what I'm saying we need a chef in here. Big chili you know in the I, chat. I know, I know what you can do. What? We can hire somebody. To come cook for us? Because we got the chili. Yeah. Yeah, don't even worry about it, man. Yeah, Come chili. mess with us, man. Uh, again, though, shame on you. Four o'clock. We may do the news tomorrow. I have no idea. I really don't feel like doing the news, but I'm going to do it. Pun's birthday is coming up, so I really don't even want him to do the news. Oh, you can't do it. Oh, so he can't do it. So it's no news Thursday. It's no news tomorrow. So don't even worry about it. Uh, we'll probably make it up another day. Maybe we'll run it back to back on another day. Nah, me and Pun, man. What? Me and you supposed to do some um, IRL shit tomorrow. We supposed to do IRL shit tomorrow. So tune into that instead of the news. Yeah, yeah. Uh, IRL shit tomorrow, man. Tune in T-Rail BOF on kick and come mess with me and uh, AD. We definitely got some surprises. Yeah, Big Chili's in the chat. I love that. Every Monday and Friday, back on Fig at 4 p.m. Wednesday, shame on you at 4 p.m. Winners Community. Mondays, Thursdays, 7 p.m. Yeah, Monday, Thursday at 7 p.m. Check us out. We finna get up out of here. And don't worry about nothing. Yeah, we gone.